today I wanted to start um start getting ready for hey gravy good to see you I want to start filming some stuff for my new uh, YouTube video I'm gonna make in Crusader Kings 3 and for that video if you guys weren't here last week I am going to be doing 100 development speed runs in the game I was inspired by this guy's reddit post a few months ago who had managed to get a um, hundred development in Baghdad by 940 so a pretty crazy feat pretty crazy and um, that was actually before um, the Iranian intermezzo <laughs> and um, now with the Iranian intermezzo I feel like there's gonna be some there's some opportunities for us to get it even faster so let me switch over here to my Crusader Kings 3, get this stream started. So you guys who were here last week will have seen this. This is the the um, the save file where I actually hit 100 development in 940 on my own. But this was with... Uh, this was with... Um, debug mode on. So I pretty much had unlimited gold and prestige. So I wanted to just make sure that it was something that is doable and um, like it turns out it is but this video for today what we're going to be doing is going um, into the main menu just starting a new game and seeing if it can be done without pretty much unlimited gold, unlimited prestige, unlimited uh, um, piety and I don't expect to get this like first try. Um, it's probably going to take a few tries. But that's why I wanted to stream it, you know, have a little fun with you guys while I do this challenge anyways. So it doesn't feel like I'm just sitting here playing the same game over and over again. I can uh, talk to you guys, you know, play a little bit of CK3 at the same time. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's go back to the main menu. Good to hear it sounds fun. Thanks, Noob Salmon. Um, so the only thing that's going to be special about this game, which I don't normally do, is I'm going to be have I'm going to have to make a um, create a character for this run because we're going to need some little benefits um, that we can do. We're still going to want to be uh, below 400 like character points to be eligible for achievements. That's kind of like how I'm going to do it. But we want to be able to choose our starting culture because it's going to be so important for us. To do this run okay nice good to good to know gravy uh yeah we got that figured out there's a few other things um that i did i i played around with some of the settings but we'll see we'll see kind of how it goes as we as we do the stream so to so the guy uh who posted this kind of like challenge on reddit posted his run he started as this duchy down here and i think it is a pretty good duchy and um, when I had debug mode on, what I had done was just like take the uh, take Baghdad away from um, the emperor of the the Abbasid Empire. But you can actually petition him to get it from him if you have a claim there. And I just tried this before, and it actually works pretty easily, even if he had he had like pretty bad opinion with me. Uh, so that was kind of surprising, and it makes it so that we can actually get Baghdad like really early, and that's. An amazing county which I'll get into in a little bit to show you guys why that's so good for doing for trying to go for a hundred development here first of all though we are gonna create our beautiful character here we're gonna want to I haven't like um, developed the perfect tactics to do this yet like that's why I'm kind of like trying everything out now but I think starting as young as possible while still being an adult is a good play uh, in my other run we were actually able to get hundred development all with just one character so I think starting at 16 is pretty solid. Uh, we're going to want to change our culture, of course. Be because, oh, hello there. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, guys. Um, we have... Which, which, so the culture that we're going to want to go for, it's a little bit surprising, actually. And I'm still not 100% sure this is like the best way to do it. But it is what got me 100 development 
uh, with debug mode on, and it's actually a Mongolian culture, if you can believe that. Um, and it's this one right down here because they have both agrarian and malleable invaders. So agrarian is obviously really useful uh, for playing tall because uh, like you get the 30% um, boost to floodplain terrain, which is obviously really good. Um, but it also malleable, malleable invaders is going to be really important because we want to hybridize as early as possible this game and it makes it uh, it makes it cost 50% less, like you have to have 50% less cultural acceptance. So that's actually pretty amazing. So uh, we're going to be going with... Uh, did I try any other culture? So I... Uh, so the first time I did it in debug mode, I played as um, the Catalan culture. Because that's what the guy did in the Reddit post. And he kind of like abused the... Uh, like the the Spanish legacies that you get from the Iberian DLC. And that's pretty powerful. Like it's all based on cities. Like you get more development from your cities. But uh, I just like, I don't think it's, I think if we want to use, if I want to use like the Persian, all the new Persian stuff that they added to the game, I can't really start as Spanish and still have it work out for me. Uh, but we'll get into that later. So these traits, I also wasn't really a hundred percent certain which were the best ways to go. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions. What I th was thinking of doing was making my guy um, genius, of course, for the uh, um, learning experience. But you can see that already puts us almost to four hundred, so we have to be a little bit careful. Uh, there were a few other traits, like I kind of wanted a centric because it gives you learning and it's really cheap. And we have some points. What was the other one I picked up? I think I just picked up chase because it was also cheap. And then I'm going to bump a few things down here, like martial. We don't really care about diplomacy, um, intrigue, and we're going to pretty much put it all into stewardship and learning because those are obviously the two things we need to play a good tall game and i think we're probably ready to go with this guy 400 exactly um hey craig how's it going you get you lose points for wounded that actually is a good shout because you probably heal right away, right? Gravy. Uh, where is wounded actually? Oh yeah, you could balance it. I see what you mean. Oh my goodness. I actually have... Uh, strategy tag. <laughs> of course I would misspell something. That's just absolutely classic. Thanks for the heads up, Salmon. <laughs> Strategy. There we go. Uh, okay. Where the heck is Wounded? <laughs> um... Kind of not found it. Is it not in, uh, Traits? I don't normally play as create a character. I always find it's like a bit too OP for me. Okay. Scaly. Murder. Maybe it was, maybe you can't be wounded. Okay, well, we'll, we'll do this for now. This is a first try, so I don't expect to get the speed run right now. Um, anyway, it's just kind of like a test to see what it's like without debug at first. So let's finalize this guy. I think we're good to go. Maybe give me an Ashari name so the uh, all my Muslim friends will be nicer to me. And um, heterosexual, sure. Okay, let's get into the game. So yeah, we want to play as this duchy right here. You'll see why in just a second. And we're good to go. 
the Iranian intermezzo is turned on, which is going to be really important for us. So, first of all, guys, the reason we want to hold Baghdad, and this is like the perfect place to make a 100 development county, is because um, they actually changed the way rivers work a few updates ago, and now you can build trade ports along these major rivers, which you can see in game. They're like all over the map. There's a ton of them in. Uh, in Northern Europe up here, which it makes it really fun to play as some like less developed lands and, and develop them yourselves. But you can see we actually have um, five baronies which are on this river, which means we can have five baronies uh, with um, trade ports in them. And trade ports are, are of course really good for getting your development up. Crouton Islam is OP. Uh, another reason that being a Shari is actually really good is because we can have multiple wives. So I'm going to right away try to find a uh, a wife who has a lot of stewardship. Um, there was a better one. What the heck? When I just tried this earlier, there was somebody who wasn't didn't have her own job and had 21. But I guess we can take this Afghan lady with uh, 17 potentially. We can always try to find more later. Um, because, like, I don't have Baghdad right now, and I'm going to need gold, so I'm going to want to try to hold these counties all personally down here. Uh, hey, Potato. Yeah, so this is going to be a video, guys. Um, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it, but I'm just, like, testing to try to get 100 development first i think it's going to take you know at least a few attempts for me to be able to beat 940 that's the that's the date we're trying to beat here is to get 100 development in baghdad before 940 and uh i don't think it's gonna be the easiest thing so it's gonna take a few tries so first of all um what the heck do i need to do well i'm gonna go down stewardship early again just to get as much uh, to hold as many domains as I can. And so the, the reason we chose this culture was for agrarian, like I said, but also because it has malleable invaders, which lets you hybridize your culture. And um, the culture that we want to hybridize with, no surprise, is the Persian culture. And there's a few reasons for this. One of them is to get guardian architects right away as early as possible, which is going to be really valuable for us uh, because you can just pump development from it. But the other reason is, um, if I choose a culture, if I hybridize with the Persians, let me just show you guys this. If I were to form a um, hybrid culture with the Persians, and if I chose an Iranian heritage, that would make it so that I actually get... Um, all the dynasty bonuses that the the persians have from the new dlc so that includes things like um getting a boost over here to increasing your development from your house unity which is kind of like a new gameplay mechanic and then what it also includes is that new uh dynasty legacy for the persians which has to do with um uh, with your tax jurisdictions and getting development for every vassal you have which is going to be pretty powerful so let's give a quick little play here get the wife in put her on match domain how's the stream quality by the way guys is it decent i'm also recording on the side and i heard it could like lower the the bit rate of the stream so hopefully it's not too hopefully it, it's not too laggy or anything Nice, thanks, Gravy. Good to know. So you can see already with my wife on managed domain and with my uh, stewardship um, going down the domain focus, we already went to seven of six domains. So we're only gonna get a little penalty now. And um, what else did I wanna do early? I need to find some Persian people in my court. Because let's say if I wanted to grant this to a Persian person, that would actually start increasing my cultural acceptance with the Persians. Uh, oh, thanks for the follow, guys. Hello there. Hello there. Causes Belly 8. That's a great name for this. Um, 
<laughs> I know, Mongols and Persians. Who would have thought they would create the most powerful, uh, tall culture of all time? So yeah, I don't have any Persians in my court, but you can actually use the find a character. And we can see if there's anybody who's going to want to join my court. Um, it's going to be a bit difficult. We can sort by all. And then if we go by opinion of me, because the more they like me, the more they're going to be willing to join me. And we got this guy over here actually with minus 10. That's not too bad. Um, we'll pin him and we're going to pin this guy here too. And let's see if we can start improving our opinion with just some of these guys. 71? It's not that good. 95, that's more like it. Oh, Persian with almost adult kids. That's a good idea. Let's see if we can find any Persian. See, this is one of the benefits already of playing as a Shari is that um, we have... Oh, do people not have kids in the beginning of the game? I think that might be the case. Uh, is we can have multiple wives. I might marry a Persian just for the hell of it. But I don't think we can give her a piece of land. Um, which one of these people look good? Let's go by learning in case we need a learning wife. So we can send her a marriage. That should be good. <laughs> uh, okay, pretty good. And what else do we need to do? Oh yeah, so this is really important. We need to start fabricating a claim on Baghdad because in order to petition our liege, um, this lovely gentleman right here, we're going to need to uh, have a claim on Baghdad for him to give it to us. So that's the first thing we're going to do. After that, we're going to try to get a claim over here on this county because it is Persian. So I know once we have a Persian county, uh, we'll then have some Persian quarters that way. But I was just wondering if we could get one a little bit quicker. That's kind of why I'm uh, doing a little sway against these guys here to try to make them a bit more friendly with me. See, if I were to try to invite this guy to the court right now, you can see he has a minus 5 from the opinion and a base reluctance of 50. So, uh, we can raise our opinion with him pretty easily by sending him gold, but I'm going to keep that in the back pocket. I think we'll have to get him probably to like 100 uh, opinion of us if, if, we get, if we want him to join our court. All right, Grady. Um... Have a good rest of your day. I'm happy you could uh, come say hi. Thanks, Sheltz, for the follow. Hello there. Hello there. Um, Spade N as well. Thank you. Thank you. Why is the Abbasid capital in Baghdad? It's I don't know. I think like historically their capital was probably in uh, Samaria at this time. Samaria. Um. But yeah, like if I was the Abbasids, you know, if I'm playing in IRL Abbasids, I would definitely make my capital in Baghdad. It's just so crazy. Like all of these uh, floodplain tiles are nuts. And the fact that you can build trade parts in them is crazy. So yeah, we got this going. I have to be very careful. Like it's, uh, it's only been 50 days since the start of the game, but every second counts for this challenge because if you can start stacking like high development early, it just snowballs. Uh, the later you go. Um, I'm just making sure there's nothing else I want to do. I'm hoping that our stewardship is high enough that he's going to uh, make us his steward. The Abbasid uh, Emperor guy. You get a tax guy over here. Okay, we got more follows coming in. <laughs> Moses Lawn. Thanks for the follow. How am I going to get that? So that's the whole challenge, Potato, how to get uh, 100 so quick. The main thing we're going to do um, is create, well, we're going to create our hybrid culture and hopefully get a one tile culture once we have our, our uh, Mongolian culture in this land here. And once you have a one tile culture, you can start like increasing the uh, the research speed insanely quickly. And we're just going to stack from there. The, the guy on Reddit who did this challenge 
used um, cities to to get the ball rolling. So I think he probably was able to get a higher development per month than what we're going to do. But what we're going to do is going to get us a very high development per month early. So I think that's kind of what makes the difference. Hey, Apocalypse. Um, thanks for joining. Very nice of you to say. I hope this will be a, a pretty interesting video if we're able to pull it off. Again, I'm not planning on... I'm not saying that we're going to be 100% successful today. We're just testing it out without debug mode to see um, if we can even get close to 940 and then we're going to have to you know, tune the run a little bit after that. So... Uh, yeah, so we just need to get this claim on Baghdad. There we go. Chancellor, that's that's actually not good. I'd rather be his steward. Um, I'll take the uh, piety because we're also going to want to... Uh, we're going to want to take this decision down here to become a cal uh, Caliphal supporter. And you can see if I click on our, our liege here, we have a pretty bad opinion with him because like we're, we're a detractor of the Caliphate instead of a supporter. And it does cost 250 to do this, so. But we're almost there already. We have like 209, um, which is pretty decent. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get this claim here pretty soon. Ooh, who's this guy? There's also some wars going on, but we don't really care. Like, you could have also started as the, um, uh, the Abbasid Empire for this challenge, but I think it would just be too crazy with all those vassals to manage. I'd rather start as a small area, get Baghdad, and kind of, like, grow from there. And then, you know, later down the line, we could potentially, um, we could potentially take, take over the Abbasid. Well, I, I definitely do plan on taking over the Abbasid Empire later, but... For now, uh, being a um, a vassal is going to be pretty helpful for us. Uh, I probably should also station my men at arms. We have a four out of five horse archer. That is actually huge, huge because these guys are insanely powerful. We actually have armored footmen as well, which is pretty good. Um, and we'll just shove everyone else wherever they go. Get these little benefits from them. We will have to do a few wars, but I'm not going to try to like. Go crazy in terms of uh, declaring wars on people. Uh, uh, Apocalypse, I'm like, I should have it set up. This is also a test for me because I'm, I'm like pretty new to live streaming. But I should have it set up where I'm recording now and like my voice should go on another track as like the gameplay and all that. So it should be sorted. Um, but you know, if it's not, it's not the end of the world, it's day one, challenge number one, so. We're just testing that, we're testing the waters here. <laughs> Thanks guys. Um, so this kind of sucks, like when I was doing this just before, I, because we were the steward of the Abyssin Empire, we were getting way more gold, which is pretty helpful. Uh, I don't think I'm going to invest too much in these counties down here, because... If everything goes to plan, I should only have to hold Baghdad, and I won't have to hold any other counties anyway. Oh, and I think our claim... Well, yeah, we our claim went through, right? So now we can actually... Uh, where is this decision? Uh, why can't we... Oh, he's in an army. Okay, so we gotta wait for him to finish his war with this guy, and then we'll be okay. I guess in the meantime, I'll fabricate my claim on the Persian land down here because once we get that we can get some Persian friends and uh, start increasing our cultural acceptance with them because the faster that goes up uh, the faster we'll be able to increase our development okay oh Hassan died that's a little bit disappointing but we weren't swaying him anyway so that's okay our wife is pregnant that's also fine I it won't matter how many kids we have because again I just want to hold Baghdad Personally, I don't care about any of the other counties. Um, is he really going to lose this war? Like, Oh, man. Because if he was not in that war, we'd be able to take Baghdad from him right now. 
There's going to be a little bit of RNG to this challenge too. That's kind of why I think we're going to have to do more than one run at this thing. Um, oh yeah, accolade. That's probably going to be important. What do you guys think about these accolades? I'm like, they're good, but it's just sometimes it's so annoying to keep having to uh, replace them. Like one dies and then like, oh, you have to get a whatever, like an understudy for them. It's not really my favorite thing to manage. But in this game where we're going to be min-maxing everything, I think we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to use them. Do you think it's possible to do with a different county? Yeah, so I think like, it's probably possible. Pot liquor. That's a good, is that a good one? That one's shit, I think. Or is that? Oh, for the vassal opinion? Do you use that actually? I would rather have the one that gives me a knight or the one that gives me more um, horse archers or archers. Uncontrolled territory defender uh, attacker advantage? That's actually okay. I think we'll take Marauder. Um, and we got a successor for him, so that's good. Uh, yeah, so this county down here is like a candidate to do this challenge, but... Uh, like we want to be, we want to have the Persians nearby. We wanted to start as that Mongolian heritage place. So it would be a little bit harder to get those Persian uh, legacies if we started down here. I mean, it's good. Like, I'm not going to lie. It's good. You have uh, a seven barony county and all these slots can have trade ports except for, I just think the capital, you can't put a trade port in. So it's pretty valuable. Like if I was going to play as Majorai, actually, I would probably play as um, a Catalan culture character because they have those uh, dynastic legacies and they actually have like the, the city uh, traditions, which make your cities get more development growth. I'm kind of not going for cities. I was I did a whole Excel spreadsheet to, to see what would be more valuable in Baghdad we have empty baronies here so i can either build two more cities or what i can do is build two more temples and i think what i've decided on is that uh the temples are actually the more um the more valuable option in terms of development not in the long run but in in terms of like you can get it going quicker and uh we're gonna need to reform our uh, muslim faith here as well picking up anaconism picking up uh Megalith Constructors, this is what's going to make our temples uh, be able to pump development, which is going to be really good. Um, hey Max, thanks for the follow. Hello there. Um, and then the last tenet that we're going to want to go for for our new religion is going to be pacifism for the extra uh, domain limit. So that way I really don't have to care about stewardship. I can just pump everything into learning once, once we get Baghdad. Um, unsafe gameplay. Thank you. Thank you. Good to get the follow. Uh, is this guy lost his war yet? No, he's still fighting. Like, okay. We're going to become a Caliph, um, Caliphal supporter here because it's going to make us better friends with our liege and that's going to be pretty important for us. Uh, we're going to pick up, see, we're going to need to eventually pick up meritocracy to be able to claim the throne from the liege, but... Right now, that's not 100% doable, so I think we should be okay. This claim still didn't go through yet, that's fine. And uh, we just need to wait for this war to end. So like, this is already bad RNG, because we're wasting time not owning Baghdad and not getting the development up in that area. Um, What is this pop-up? Does it really matter? Change the faith? I don't really think so. Oh my god. Uh, I would take some piety, I think. Ooh, development growth. That's pretty good, but not. we don't have Baghdad yet, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. Um... Wow. Uh, I think we'll be able to fight this guy once we, once this goes through. And at least we can start improving our opinion with 
uh, with the Persians. So is he going to destroy us? That's my only concern. What does he got? He's got Bowman, he's got Light Footman, and he's got 10 Knights. Why so many Knights? What the heck? Maybe I'll recruit a couple of good knights to balance the uh, balance the playing field. Tu Hong, hello there, hello there. For the decision, oh, the the caliph one. That's a good call out though. Thank you. Oh no, this guy died. Wow. So there goes our cheeky little plan to get a bunch of Persian. Uh, people in our court early. Maybe I'll check the Persian if we got any women with Persian kids yet. Doesn't look like it. Probably age. Yeah. No Persian kids. Bit of a bummer. Did anybody wander into our land? No. Dress, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Very nice of you to say. Oh, look at these little gifts. Those are so cute. Wait, was it because he was in a war or was it because he was um, head of an army? Because maybe he's not in his army. Petition leash. Oh, he's still in an army. Can you stop fighting? Like, just go home, dude. Relax. Cause see right here, we'd be able to uh, grant claim, uh, grant claim. So we have a claim on Baghdad, so he'd give it to us. And from what I tested earlier, like they give it to you even if they don't like you very much. And he, his opinion is going up not, uh, going up pretty easily here. So yeah, we'll have to wait for him to get out of that army. But I guess it, it'll pop up right here when he does, so we'll be able to see it. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna create another duchy right now. I don't really need the prestige, but we are stacking a good amount. We're stacking a good amount of everything right now. It's kind of just a waiting game. Uh, I guess I should explain. Should I explain what I'm doing for the new people who joined? I don't really know how this works. So we're doing 100 development speed runs and we're going to be taking Baghdad to 100 development. Um, we use character creator to create this special little guy right here. Uh, who is a Mongolian culture and we plan on hybridizing with the Persians. Oh yeah, I forgot we can war this guy. So I think we take this guy. No allies. We have a little bit more military. We'll just have to be a bit careful when we fight him. Um, but oh, of course he's going to have mercenaries. Should have seen that one coming. And 12 knights now. Like that, that honestly is a big problem. Uh, I think I will get an alliance here, just like not to risk anything. Ooh, we can ally ourselves to a Persian guy. Oh, I'm sorted by Persian still. So. Let's see. <laughs> we can ally to the Abbasid Empire. I would do that if he wasn't in two wars right now. To be honest with you. Um. Oh, we could ally to this guy over here, but I want to invade him like after. I guess we can break off the, the marriage. So yeah, let's ally this guy. Um, Augustine, hello there. Thanks for joining us today. The Mersians? No, I'm trying to merge with uh, the Persians to use their nice benefits here. So yeah, let's send this marriage off. Give my, like, what is one year old sick kid to this um this duke over here for an alliance? Wait, did he accept it already? Hello. Why did he not accept that alliance? Brother. Maybe he filled his marriage out. Okay, so we'll just ally to this guy. Is he strong? 2000, that's strong enough. Okay call him into the war. Uh, peasant rabble, that's fine. So we have a pretty beastly army here. The only thing I'm worried about is the knights compared to this guy's army. Like, you can see, if we have favorable terrain, 
I bet we can take him. The problem is, uh, I definitely wouldn't fight him. Oh, it's only drylands. I thought it was mountains. I think drylands would be okay. Our main fighting force are these horse archers, and they're actually good in uh, in plains and drylands. But they're really bad in mountains, so I'm not going to attack anybody in mountains, that's for sure. <laughs> Hello, I guess it is, it is me. It is really me. Uh, good to hear from you. I'm kind of excited about I've so this is my second ever live stream. That's why I put first in quotas because last week I did a little secret live stream just to test my OBS and stream quality and all that good stuff. So I'm pretty excited just to like chat with you guys, play some Crusader Kings, um, just have a good time overall. You know, have a good chill time. Just trying to speed run 100 development. The whole reason I think it would be really fun to get 100 development, well, to get the quickest 100 development, um, is because like I'm the tall guy, right? I I like to play tall. I like to see the development go up. So I think it would be cool to like um, to like have that accolade, you know? Fastest ever 100 development run in Crusader Kings three. Um. It would be cool to like after I post the video to see you guys try it too because I know there's like some really really good people at CK3 who watch my videos and uh, I bet if anybody's willing to beat it uh, if anybody's able to beat a speedrun by me it would be my fans so pretty nice I'm wondering like should I start attacking this guy I'm worried like the second I attack him he's gonna run over there with his mercenaries and kind of spank me uh we could test the waters honestly try to like get a little bit of movement over on because I don't want to be wasting too much gold. I do only lose about 4 gold per month. And we have a decent stockpile. So that's not bad. If we get into neutral... Or actually, if we get into dry lands... Okay, let's see. Oh no. Oh wait. Oh my god, the ally actually clutched it out. How long am I streaming for? Um... I don't know, I was gonna like try to stream until I hit 100 development, but like it's gonna be a little bit slower, I guess, uh, when I'm live streaming because I'm gonna like take time to stop and stuff. But we'll see, I'll, I'll probably stop around like, I don't know, 10 maybe? We'll kind of see how I'm feeling. Uh, so I need, which county did I declare war for? It's this county over here. I guess I'll finish taking this. So I'm getting myself ready to get Baghdad, uh, he's still in the army, like we actually got really unlucky with that, the fact that he's in an army, because we, we could have had Baghdad for, it's been four years guys, four years, oh my days, um, alright, let's just keep invading this guy here. Peasants are going to rise up. That's a-okay. Who is this guy? Oh, the Arminian. That's nice. Friends with this guy. Uh, I guess I should probably just kill these guys quickly. Don't mind me, allies. I just have some peasants to kill. Is there another army? Oh my god. Uh, is this gonna be enough levies? God, hope so. Oh my god, why is my ally following me to attack the peasants? Like, you're not in the peasant war. What are you doing, brother? Okay, let's just send everybody down there. I don't want to split my armies up. It's going to get crazy. Okay. Um, ooh, collect war tax. I think I'll do this. Every county gets minus 25. The question is, will this apply to Baghdad once I hold it? Because that would be really bad. Uh, I will just take the stress, I guess. We need more knights, so accept that. 
best thing about killing the peasants is uh, recruiting and converting their leaders to fight for your army. Um, <laughs> damn it, these guys are so annoying. <laughs> Oh my god. What? Okay, I don't really care about these random counties. Okay. Wait a minute. So he is not in the war anymore. Okay, perfect. So let's go over here. Let's petition him. Uh, let us pick up a um, caravan master and maybe some mercenaries just to make it a little safer and we'll go head over to the capital to try to get him. Oh, I just closed it, didn't I? God damn it. Uh, no, where to go? Did I time it out? Oh, no way! Or no, am I, am I running there? Okay, I <laughs> Oh my god, I thought I messed that up for sure. Uh, okay, wait. Mercenaries. Hello there, who just... Uh... Oh my god. Iontra, thank you for the follow. Sorry if I butcher any of your names. I'm like, reading is not my strong suit. You guys probably know that already. Uh, okay. Yeah, can't wait. We're already so behind for not having... Ooh. Do I need piety? I still actually need piety because we're going to need to create our own religion eventually. Uh, Josh Mitty, hello. Thanks for the follow. We are currently going for 100 development in Baghdad. Off to a bit of a rocky start with our liege being uh, involved in a war. Okay, look at this. So he just accepts it. Like this, uh, it's actually crazy that this is so easy to do. He literally just gives me Baghdad. All I had to do was fabricate a claim on Baghdad and then petition him for him to grant me my claim. And look at that, we get a bit of renown. Um, we get the whole county and now we can finally start. Uh, ooh, let's risk this. Uh, finally start increasing the development in Baghdad. You can see it already has 20 development. Uh, it's going to go up pretty slowly to start. Yeah, so we're going to be getting 0 0.5 right now. Uh, this is going to actually go up pretty quick, pretty soon. Right now, uh, it's all the buildings in here are disabled because we just got it and we're over our domain line. But you can see the whole, one of the other reasons that Baghdad is so good for playing tall is um, it has the House of Wisdom building, which gives you a 0 0.3 development growth per month plus 20% development. This is like just incredibly strong. So that on top of the fact that it's floodplains uh, is just really, really valuable for us. Actually, I think instead of um, instead of increasing development right now, I'm going to have to promote my culture here first because if I want to create a hybrid culture with the Persians in the first place, I need to own a, uh, a county that has my original culture. And um, as you can see, Baghdad does not have our culture right now. So we're going to we're going to be doing that for now. Um, Jess Young makes no sense, really. Uh... What you're talking about? Oh, the uh, the petition leash thing? Yeah, I don't know, man. There's a lot of things in this game that don't make any sense, but I'm not going to complain. Uh, I really want to invade this, but like, it's just in such good defensive terrain right now, so I honestly can't. Let's just invade here, I guess. Why am I still walking? Like, can I get home? Yeah, that's better. Uh, centralization is going to be huge. Oh yeah, we have to move our capital here, but we can't because we're in war. 
that's uh, another thing that's going to get us a lot more development. Uh, whoops. So let's take this guy and go attack him. Our allies should come in and help us. Boom. Run back over here. And now if we take this piece of land, we should uh, should finally get that. And then we can start improving our uh, cultural acceptance with the Persians. Okay, very nice. Um, the reason I'm holding like over my domain limit right now is just because once I finish this war, I'm going to get access to a lot of Persian. Uh, um, ooh, look at that. 80 damage on the horse archers. These things are absolutely crazy. Oh yeah, get them. Uh, yeah, so once I finish this war, I'll have a lot of Persian quarters that I can get. So, And then I can grant these extra counties to the Persians, which will increase our uh, cultural acceptance with them. So that's going to be pretty valuable. Do I need anything else from stewardship? I don't really think so. I'll pick up meritocracy for later. And I think I'll make the switch over to scholarship focus now so we can start pumping our development soon. It may have taken us seven years to kind of get started here. Um, but we are on the right track now, ladies and gentlemen. So we have this nice uh, county. We're going to grant it to a local Persian noble. Let's see, actually. Yeah, so there's no Persians in our court right now. Grant that to him. And now, if I click on the Persians, you can see we're going to be going up by 0 0.2 um, from that. We lose a little bit for yearly loss, but we only have to get to 20%. So this is already decent. And I think if I go here and actually grant this guy, does it go up? I'm trying to think, does it go up if I grant him land that's not Persian? Does anybody know actually? I don't think the cultural acceptance will go up, actually. Hmm. Not entirely sure about that one. Because I want to grant him, like, this desert place over here, because it's pretty useless to me. Okay, well, I guess we can test it, you know. We're not, uh... You know. We don't have anything to lose. We'll give him that county as well. And now if we look at Persian, yeah, see, that's what I thought. It wouldn't go up. So I will eventually need to invade Fars because they have a lot of Persian territory. And I need to grant Persian ter territory to Persian vassals um, in order to get our opinion up higher. Uh, but for now, I'm going to grant away a few pieces of land. Oh, yeah, my domains are down right now. Let's see if I can find a better wife, actually. Not matrilineal. We're gonna make her our primary spouse. Because when she's on managed domain, she gets us nine domains. And what's the limit? Oh, is it 24? To go, because it's uh, it's every six, every six stewardship, you go up one domain, and I'd rather have six domains than five. I think it is 24, um, but we could hire. Where is he? Oh, we can't hire this guy. Damn. Uh, each vassal of that culture. It could work like that, honestly. It could work like that as well. Just, um, and we do have, see, so now that we have this land, we have some Persian guys. So let that's perfect. Um, they're shy. This guy is humble, which is really nice. So we'll grant him that one. Yeah, so you're you're right. It's every vassal you have of that culture increases it by 0 0.2, it looks like. But I think it caps at uh, 0 0.5, I think. Um, so we'll grant one more of these places away. I'm not sure which one yet. Oh, what the heck? This one has a really good mosque. Whoa, this mosque is crazy. It has 0 0.3 and 30% development growth, but it's in dry lands, which are not as good. Um, 
as Baghdad. Uh, this one over here, I guess we'll grant this tile away. This one makes us a lot of money. You can see as a tier two Hamlets, but like, what are you gonna do? We need to get the vassalization up. That's what we care about the most right now. And yeah, so you can see we now are now getting 0 0.5 uh, from vassalage, so our acceptance should start going up with the Persians. My steward died, which is a bit annoying. I'm going to try to find a better steward. It's going to always be really important this game for us to have a good steward. Do I have any women characters who are unmarried? Yes, we do. Oh, look at this. Oh, never mind. I thought this was a vassal, but it's me. Um, this guy has 14 only. Damn. We have like no good stewards, which is a bit of a bummer. Because it's going to take this guy nine years to convert Baghdad to my culture. I can also move my capital here now, which is going to be important. Uh, I'm not sure why the House of Wisdom isn't showing up. Maybe because we need to wait a month from being above our domain limit. Let's let it play for a little bit, see what happens. Learning lifestyle experience, do we care about that? Uh, I don't think so, honestly. Okay. And yeah, so here you go. One month later, House of Wisdom becomes active and you can already see we're getting 1.0 development per month in Baghdad. Uh, and now that we own Baghdad, we can start building things uh, in these territories. So I'm going to start with trade ports in both castles that are here in Baghdad because of course trade ports get you 5% development as well as a little bit of tax which goes a long way. These temples are going to be really cheap uh, to upgrade as well because Baghdad actually gives you uh, a 10% discount for building temples and then also in the Iranian Intermezzo we get a 30% discount for building in temples so these things are going to be pretty good. Uh, the other reason why Baghdad is so good is because in floodplains, you have the building available to you, the fruit orchard, and I think it was tours and tournaments where they made it so that fruit orchards actually give you 5% development growth, just like trade ports. So not only can we have trade ports in all of these regions, we can have trade ports and fruit orchards, uh, which together gives a crap ton of development. And then once we get... Uh, once we reform our religion, which maybe would be should be what I focus on next, we can build the um, the megaliths in the temples, which will which will be another uh, development building, which is going to be pretty valuable. Uh, so let's see how we're doing with the Persians. I know I'm playing pretty slow right now. You know, we are doing a speed run, so it's important to min-max everything we can. Uh, speaking of min-maxing, now that we are building, we're going to be building a little bit. We should probably hire... Oh, no, we can't hire the Royal Architect yet because we're not a kingdom, so... It's a bit of a bummer. And I... Th I think I probably should do some more fruit orchards next. Zenhound, thanks for the follow. Hello there. Hello. Um, here we go. So I'll buy a another trade port down here in the uh, in this guy's temple. Oh, do I have tier two crown authority? So I can go to tier two crown authority and revoke the temple. Another actually really important thing, which I don't want to forget at all, is before we finish promoting our culture, I need to build uh, both temples down here because the um, uh, the the uh, the Abbasid culture down here actually has the innovation city planning, which le which lets me build temples. But I'm pretty sure my Mongolian culture that I am doesn't have city planning. So if I were to convert this. Um, county, I would lose the ability to build a temple here. So I'm just going to start saving my gold for a little bit now in order to get both those temples down uh, to make sure we do that before it gets converted. Oh, what do I want to do here? I think I want to 
practice because I want to be a wise man for the extra learning. So I think we do the mystical ones. Each vassal of the culture makes it go faster. I'll try again, but I think it caps at 0 0.5. Uh, continue to experiment. Okay, good. I am the wise man. Like, let's see, if I grant this one over here to a Persian guy uh, who isn't a vassal yet. This is our last Persian, so we won't be able to do any more after this. Yeah, see, it still says 0 0.5, so I'm pretty sure it caps at 0 0.5 from Vassalage. Uh, but we got four little Persian Vassals now. This is okay. Remember, we don't really care about the land down here. We're just using it for gold right now. But as we transition to uh, getting more domains, we're going to do things like revoke the land away from um, other people in Baghdad. So we can just hold all of Baghdad personally, and then we won't have to worry about succession for... The rest of the game but then again we don't plan on dying either so hey nice to hear that zen hound um always great it's yeah it's it's really crazy actually to think that you guys all watch my videos um <laughs> i'm just a man playing ck3 uh, what is this? Who does he want? Does he want one of my daughters? Is this my good daughter? Oh. I mean, I think this is fine. We don't have a son yet anyway. Like, you can take my hostage. I don't care about that daughter at all, to be honest with you. And how are we doing other than that? What are we waiting for again? A little bit of scattered brain right now. Oh yeah, gold. We're just stacking gold. Uh, station men arms. Who's unstationed? Oh yeah, granted away your place, didn't I? And I'll probably move my horse archers as well to the capital for the extra bonuses. Okay, learning, so we're gonna pick up, we'll pick up scientific first. Uh, we don't have a culture head because our culture actually isn't in any territories yet, which I find pretty funny. But um, how long is this? In eight years, we will have somewhere of our culture. I'm also gonna, um, I'm gonna keep periodically checking for uh, better stewards because like a good steward is really important for increasing the development anyway so that's gonna be something we really want to get so how much gold do we need 380 for the temples so I think we'll be fine for hitting that in eight years um, developments going up slowly but surely we're losing a bit of development growth from not being able to upgrade our buildings. Like we could upgrade all these trade ports to tier two and do things like buy orchards in these places, but we need to get those temples down first. That's gonna be the most important thing. Oh yeah, and I'm not increasing the development here, am I? So we're getting 1.1 flat out, but uh, our steward isn't actually increasing development. So that's gonna go up a, a pretty decent amount once we finish converting this area. Three hundred twenty. Let's just keep this going. Should we do hunts? I think hunts are probably going to be. Let's see. Where is this thing? Oh, that's pretty close. I think we have to do this. Oh, did I hire captains last time? I was supposed to hire mercenaries. How can you guys didn't tell me that? <laughs> I'd see captains, even though I was just going up here to uh, Samara. Um, I think we want desert warriors. Yeah. So let's join this hunt. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be free. Well, we spent 12 gold, but like that's pretty much free. Trample that guy. Ooh. Hmm. Faith creation reformation cost. We're definitely gonna go for that. 
Oh, one sec. I want to check how much piety we're going to need to create this new faith. So it's 2,600 right now. That's not bad because we could always also do a little switch for uh, apostate. I guess we, yeah, maybe going for apostate would have been better to lower the cost even more. Oh, that was a bit of a boo-boo. I could reset, but honestly, I think we gain a lot of uh, learning experience pretty quickly. Yeah, we got Eccentric, which helps. Genius. Um, I think our Wonders help us here, and Insightful Thinker. So we'll be gaining uh, learning lifestyle pretty quickly, so I don't think we have to worry, actually. Okay, let's get out there. I mean, best case is like, I don't think we would keep the skull or whatever, right? Are every protestive participant gets this? Ah, whatever. We get the hunter trait, which gives us some lifestyle and stuff, so... That's actually pretty valuable. But we don't get the little trinket, do we? Yeah, so a little bit, even 5% stress loss. That's worth it for 9 gold. Okay, we have 500 gold. Let's create our first temple down here. Uh, four years till that's finished. I will eventually want to make the kingdom of Mesopotamia, and to do so, we're going to just need a few more counties. Uh, so that shouldn't be too hard. Like, if we invade this guy here, although we did just give him our daughter as a hostage, and we allied ourselves to these guys. Okay. Kind of screwed myself there. Uh, but yeah, if we just take, like, three more pieces of land, we'll actually be able to afford to create the kingdom. And being a king is going to be really valuable. Uh, well, it's going to be... 100% necessary, actually. Um, uh, because you you get a little bit of development boost from, uh, from your court, and you only get a court once you're a king. Do, do, do. The only thing I'm a bit worried is uh, we're spiritual, and the Persians are what? Ceremonious. Oh, I think I'm... Cause I th was I supposed to diverge my culture first? And then hybridize? I think that might have been like... That might be what I'm supposed to do here. Or was it? Because I, I need to be bureaucratic for the development growth. That's going to be really important. But if I uh, hybridize with the Persians... Uh, sorry, one sec. If I hybridize with the Persians, I'll only have a choice between Ceremonious. And uh, we do need to squeeze that development growth out of there. Hmm. I'm just trying to think if that's what I did when I was doing my debug run. I'm actually going to I'm gonna save here, guys, and check it out. We'll hop into my uh, old game here just real quickly, guys. Because I need to check if I actually had that. So you can see this was my culture. Oh, I was spiritual. That's actually bad. Wow. I never changed that. So I probably could have got it faster than 940. Okay. Noted. Okay, let's get back in here. Oh man. Okay, does anybody know actually? I'm always a bit confused with this. If I diverge my culture, can I then hybridize right after? <laughs> uh... I'm trying to think, because I know there's one of the ways where if you do it, you have to wait like 50 years for your culture to be a certain age. But it might be like if you hybridize and then diverge, that's allowed. I don't know if any of you guys would know that. I guess we'll, well, it's still the first one. We can always test it. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for, uh, thanks for the response. It's a bit of a niche question. <laughs> we ball, we stay balling. 
So I just need to stack a little bit more gold and I'll build my other temple up here. Uh, we have a faction rising up, but I think it's only going to be peasants who hate us because we're like a Mongolian guy living in the middle of the Abyssin Empire, so they're not a big fan. Could we petition him for like another one of these counties? I don't think it's really useful, but... Okay, learning. We're going to go actually down to get apostate for the uh, discount in faith, because I think... Uh... If we, um, the faster we're able to convert that religion, the better. We're getting invaded down here? What's going on? That's weird. Oh my god, I have to, like, disband this army. Oh no. <laughs> we're gonna get smoked. Why is this guy attacking? Like, oh, he's actually trying to take my land. What the fuck? Hello, Mr. Uh, Abyssin man, can you stop this from happening? The fuck? Okay, well, we'll enforce our demands for now and recruit another great... Um, commander for our army. At least, while we watch our... Uh, beautiful army of men-at-arms get smacked over here. Let's actually... How come he's not an option? What the heck? Did I not just recruit him? Oh well. This is not going to be pretty. Um. RIP. Wow, we actually only lost a couple hundred guys. Oh, look at that. that that's. That's a W. I always say this in my videos, guys, but that's a W in my books. If you kill more men than you lose, you just have to do that same battle like 100 times and you'll eventually win the war. <laughs> Massive. So it looks like we- oh my god, the Abyssins are getting beat the fuck up right now. Oh no, they're invading my cat. This is actually bad. This we don't want to happen. Where is his army? Like, does he- what is he doing, man? Not oh, tits. Because I think we take a dev hit and a control hit if they actually get the, the siege off on me. Yikes. Oh, and the... F okay, no. That didn't change. Hmm. Not looking good here. We've got some pretty bad RNG this uh, this run so far. We're not even above 20 development yet. That is a damn shame. Being under siege is not helping right now. God damn it. I don't even think there's a point of fighting them. They're too strong. As long as nobody has a claim on the on Baghdad. Okay, this guy's a claim on the whole em empire. I mean, man, the last game I was playing, like everybody was just be, everyone was just chilling. Nobody was even fighting. Oh, this is just not not good. Sir, can you please stop invading my land? I wanted no part in this. Oh my god. How are we doing actually with the Persians? That's a good question. Okay, we're at 9, so we're halfway to being able to hybridize with them. That's pretty valuable. Alright, let's lose these wars already. Uh, do we have a good court physician in here? This person's probably decent. Ok, 
Okay, so we lost that first war. Did we lose this? Okay, but at least we can continue to increase our development now. Yeah, so we took a bit of a hit there. We were at 96 before. Uh, I'm also going to have to increase our control here. That's going to be the most important thing. Come open-minded. Uh, pay homage. No, we don't want to do that. I actually, what's happening with my wives? Like, can I have a wife that's going to give me a kid? A son? I guess it doesn't matter. Like, the only reason I'm a bit worried about that is if I die. Um... Then the run is pretty much over, but I guess it's pretty much over anyway. Do we have any wives, potential wives, who are good at stewardship? Okay, wait, no. I need to have a kid. I don't want to marry a 45-year-old. Jeez. Okay, I'll take some money. We almost have enough to build our second temple. Gonna be pretty valuable. And we're only one perk away from getting apostate, so at least that, we have that going for us. And we get our wife's pregnant, okay. Can't give you money right now, sorry. There you go, we finally went up one point of development, only took 13 years. Jesus, that is slow. Oh, can this guy leave us alone? Like, just take the land. We don't want the land. Just stop invading me. So annoying. Okay, and we have a son. So I guess we'll educate him ourselves. Even though, hopefully, if everything goes right, we won't have to play as him. Oh, shit. Okay. So yeah, we lost this duchy. Oh, no, we lost all our Persian vassals. Okay, this is a disaster, actually. Oh no. <laughs> we might have to restart already. Like we have Baghdad, but that's not going to be enough. Because we could increase our development quickly, like we could reform our religion, but what we really need to do is... Uh, um, create a hybrid culture, like that's... Pretty much the most important thing. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go again, guys. Give me a second here. Okay. Hmm. Well, that was a bit disappointing, but. I guess it's bound to happen. Good thing is it was only like 13 years into the game. Uh, create my own ruler. Gonna pick out our nice Mongolian culture. Uh, does anybody have any recommendations for traits that they think could be useful? I just need to stick below 400. <laughs> Strategic reset, I agree. Um, I think also it's important to have intelligent for the, um, our genius, uh, for the lifestyle experience, like we need to get perks as fast as possible. For that reason, it's kind of why I went down uh, eccentric last time for the 20% uh, lifestyle experience, pretty valuable. Uh, zealous wouldn't be good. Cynical might be interesting because it makes our faith conversion cheaper, but I think if we actually went for apostate faster, we'd be, we would have been able to get it last time. I kind of like chase, chast, uh, just for the learning. And let's bump some things down and bump a few other things up. Okay. This good, 16 years old. Make sure we're heterosexual. Let's go finalize.
Mm, okay. We move. So, okay, first things first, we have to fabricate claim. Oh no, not here. Fabricate claim down here. Oh, our guy's only 10 skilled. He was 16 before. Uh, the other thing we have to do is find a wife with really good stewardship. This lady should do. And then we'll go down a stewardship education for these three perks. Well, four perks, and then we'll go to learning after that. Hmm. Okay, let's do all this stuff again. Mentor. Okay, this one's really good. This one gives you an extra knight. So we'll recruit this guy. Create accolade for him. Try to find a successor as well. And we should be good to go. Hopefully, our liege, the king of the Abbasids, doesn't uh, depart in an army this time. And we can petition him right away to get Baghdad a little bit earlier than last time. That was already a pretty bad start to the game. Uh, should I station anything? I guess I should because I will be going to war eventually. Oh, no way, we didn't spawn with horse archers this game. That's brutal. Wow. Oh, that is awful. I think I'm going to get rid of... Uh... He will. He literally will just give me... Um... Baghdad. <laughs> if you get a claim on it, you can just petition him for it. It's actually crazy. Uh, yeah, they... I was talking about the alley... Um... The accolades earlier they're so annoying i hate dealing with them but i'm trying to speed run here so we're gonna have to min max which means i'm gonna have to do a lot of micromanaging uh okay wait our wife isn't on managed domain that should get us to seven of six and then i don't know i really want to make a uh, i guess i'll get rid of the pikemen i want to make the horse arches because they're so good They are expensive though. It's the only bad thing. Spy Master. The other game too, he made us the uh the Stuart, which is way better. I don't want to be your spy master. I'm not trying to kill you right now. God damn it. Uh and I'll pick up one more horse archer. Yeah, we had four stacks of horse archers last time. That was way better. <laughs> yeah, kill him later for sure. Not right now. Ooh, promote culture speed. So we don't we that's actually bad. Oh, but it's only in this one county. That's fine then. Uh okay. So there you go. You can see we got our claim. And now if we No, don't tell me he's in a he's like away or something, isn't he? Oh my god, stop traveling! Where are you going to a wedding? You idiot. Ugh, oh, okay. We'll have to wait till he gets back from his wedding. Um, then we should be able to get Baghdad from him nice and early. And let's see, do we have any better stewards this game? That's like what was also holding us back last time. Oh, 12, why does everyone suck at being a steward? Where'd that guy go? Did he not get married? Uh, I guess not. Okay, wait. 17. That's more like... Oh, 22. Okay. This guy needs to join my court. ASAP. I've got a job for you, brother. Here we go. It's... Mike, um, 
nice to hear from you. It is technically my second stream. <laughs> My first one was last week. I didn't notify anybody, but I just went live to test a few things. Um, and now we're here with my first real stream, I guess you could say. Uh, okay, so we'll just have to keep an eye on him. Can we pin him? Will it tell us if we pin him where he is? Oh, he's locked up? What is happening to our liege, man? Wait a minute. Who is this now? Okay, wait. This might actually be good for us. Oh, somebody murdered him. Somebody just straight up... Oh, no. They just gave away all his land. And now there's a seven-year-old in charge? Well, you know... Um... <laughs> I will definitely take advantage of the fact that a uh, six, is it a six year old? A six year old <laughs> became in charge of Baghdad right now. So I guess instead of making him just give us Baghdad, we can declare war for it. Which, you know, works as well. Uh, he's actually poor also, which means there are no mercenaries. And of course, he makes us a spy master. Dude, we have 26 stewardship. Why would you not make us your steward? Your suit only has 10. I only have 9. Oh my god. The AI sometimes, man. So, I don't know um, how noob we are in chat right now. But you can always, when you're seizing land, you can press this button right here to station besiegers. Um, and what that'll do is split off an army with your uh, siege weapons and a bunch of levies that you have. Uh which will keep attacking the county that you're at war with, and then you can take the rest of your army, which should be your knights and all your beautiful men-at-arms, march them down in. Um, and use this army to absolutely destroy your enemies, which I think we'll get a stack wipe here, considering we're fighting against 300 dudes. Very nice. Uh, okay, what else do we have to do right away? We have to fabricate a claim down here again for the Persian land. Uh, we need to make that hybrid culture with those Persians. Hit 100% over here. So we got Baghdad pretty early at least. That's a good thing. Um, the control is going to be low, so we're going to have to increase that. Of course, we don't have anybody better. And we have like no women, eh? How does 42? She's 20. I guess it's probably worth it to do this. I don't know if you guys agree, but we need a good uh, martial guy right now in order to get our control and bag that up. No other lies, God Ninja. I promise you that. Uh, why can't we disband this guy? Who's hostile around here? Uh, I'll take prestige. Where? Where? Tell me where there's a hostile army. You, you can't be telling me here is too close. And there you go. Uh, okay, so we already have Baghdad. We can start promoting our culture here. So, eight years with the better steward to do this. That's, that's okay, that's decent. And let's see, do we have Persians? I bet we do not, but let's just check anyway. No Persians in the court as of right now, but once this claim goes through over here, uh, we should get a few Persians. I'm actually going to set up a marriage. F uh, it doesn't, it, honestly, I don't know why I do this, but I'm just like trained to um, set up marriage trait for traits, but I'll get one wife like that, and then I'll do another wife 
for alliance power. I want to just max out how many... Um... Ooh, that's cool. I want to max out how many wives I have here. Um, because that should help my... Um, the amount of piety I get per month. You can see right there, if you have not enough wives as a religion that has multiple wives, you do lose a bit of piety. And we need piety to eventually reform our religion. I also don't need to have this guy pinned anymore. Turns out. And I'm going to hold two domains over my limit just for right now because I need to get the Persians here like we had done before. I think this time I have to be a little bit... Oh no. Somebody's attacking this Persian guy. That could get a bit messy. Should I switch to Fars? The only reason I was a bit weary about attacking Fars is because they're strong. You can see they have like 2,500 men on their own. Hmm. Where's their other Persian land? Oh. This guy's got some Persian land and somehow he's not that strong, but in this war he has more allies. Interesting. Oh, we can actually conquer this? Oh, this is good. Oh, I can't fight him when they're fighting. Okay. So we'll have to wait a bit, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll keep the claim going here. Just cause. Maybe it'll be useful in, in... It'll be useful later. Do, do, do. I'm trying to think if there's any other way I can get Persians into my court. Because the more I can get into my court, the faster I can increase my cultural acceptance with those guys. I honestly don't think there is. Okay, a daughter, that's fine. Uh, what do I want here? This, I guess. Okay, professional workforce. How are we doing in Baghdad? 38 control, going up by 1.1. That's all right, I guess. Not amazing. Hello, Drifted Plague. I'm doing good. I'm. We are speed running 100 development in Baghdad. Off to a rocky, rocky start in the first run, but this one seems to be going a little bit better. We just beat a six-year-old uh, in a war. A poor six-year-old at that. Um, oh, and look, this guy's actually not at war anymore. I don't know what happened, but this is perfect. We're fabricating a claim on some Persian land to be able to eventually hybridize with those guys for their beautiful... Um, oh, I don't want to lose 90 gold. Who's this guy? Oh, my knight wants to leave? Nah. Don't think we're going to let that happen. Okay, we got some angry peasants, but that's fine. Oh my god, don't run, don't run. Just accept this. Oh my god. So annoying. Okay, there we go, we get the claim on... Uh, that territory. No, 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 what's happening here? Why is this guy invading me? Oh my god. These rebellions are gonna be a problem, I think. Hmm. Uh, what can I do here? I can't really fight this guy. I 
Because if he takes this duchy... Um, I don't have any other duchy. So I think that's what the problem was last game. I probably could have gotten out of that if I just created this duchy over here. Which they weren't invading me for. Because the second I lost the duchy, I had lost all of my Persian vassals, which was pretty bad. So I think... I need to make enough money... Um, in order to create this duchy over here and then I'll be okay. Which, you know, how expensive is it? 250? Mm, I mean, it'll be close. I guess it doesn't matter if I become a Caliphal supporter now because I already have Baghdad, so I don't need that anymore. This decision is pretty interesting. It actually gives you plus... Um, I think this is in your capital. Uh, you get 0 0.2 development growth, which is actually pretty valuable. But the thing is, I want to reform my religion on my own. So I don't think if that, I don't know if that would mess it up. If I were to, um, if I were to do that decision to find a new faith for Persia. Uh, what else can we do? We just need to stack gold right now and I have no way of getting prisoners do I okay a little bit screwed here It's actually not a good thing that the Abbasid Emperor is so weak because he's supposed to be like our meat shield stopping everybody from invading us, but it really isn't working like that. CK4, oh my days. It's a good question. I have not even, I haven't even imagined what CK4 would be like. When was when did CK two release? It must be like it's gonna be a while, right? I don't think it's gonna be coming out anytime soon. Uh, oh, you know what I should do is make Baghdad my capital. Uh, I thought one of these gives you development. I guess it's a different pop-up. Huh. 20 gold. I think I'll take the gold, actually. So, this guy is what? Losing his land, or...? No, he's attacking, actually. Uh... Let's see. He's not that strong. We could potentially invade him. But I just have to make sure not to... Okay, let me make the... Uh... Let me make the other duchy first to stop myself from like getting destroyed here. Oh my god. But I don't really care about this place. Ooh, that's cool. Levy size and farmland. But we don't have any farmlands. What's the point of this pop-up? Interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't care. Um, wow, it's just a whole big war zone here. That's not the type of environment you want to be able to, uh... Breed a 100 development <laughs> um, county. Uh, men at arms that are OP? Not really. Uh, there's like a few. Let me try to see if I can show you. There's. Well, they didn't change. These guys were always here, but they changed the way they look. They added some new Persian dudes. What are they called? The IR? Oh, were, were these guys in the game before? I don't even remember. Um, but 
uh, they're okay. Like they're not actually that strong, and they're they're like a cheap heavy infantry, which is good. Uh, oh, there was these guys up here. I think have an, a unique. Where is it? One of these guys have a unique um, light infantry that was cool, and then there's another unique. Once you become like the the main Persian dude. You get these uh, kind of like heavy cavalry archers, but they're just like really expensive. Like they're good, but they're they're like way too expensive to be worth it. So not too many OP men at arms. But the thing is, the whole reason we're doing this 100 development run is because with the Legacy of Persia DLC, they added these tax jurisdictions, and uh, you can change these tax decrees once you um, unlock a bunch of stuff. Once I have this Legacy. And you can see what it gives you is plus one percent development growth in all your counties per vassal that you have in these jurisdictions so you can actually get i think four of these uh tax jurisdiction guys and then with 12 vassals in each one that's a 48 percent boost to your development growth so it's actually pretty crazy um and that's kind of like why i thought uh it would be doable to uh to beat the 940 AD 100 development run that I saw on Reddit a few uh, a few months ago. He also played in Baghdad, but I, I explained this before, but I guess for the new people, he was uh, a Catalan culture because they have a bunch of bonuses for city development. So he kind of used cities to boost his development really high. Um, so we're kind of going at it with a little bit of a different angle here, and I think it could pay off. I know it's a freaking war zone right now. Uh, beach episode. Thank you. It's nice to uh, nice to hear that. Yeah. So what are we doing? The development's increasing, even though there's wars going on all around us. And I'm a bit worried about losing our liege, losing this war right here which is for, uh, I think they would get the duchy right here. But actually, would we keep, as long as we keep these counties, I don't think it matters. So I guess let's see what happens. Also, this guy's still losing his war. I'd like to invade his land if that was possible. Um, even this guy would be nice to invade his territory. Uh, I think I probably should just attack this guy instead. Because we need a Persian county. Desperately. Maybe I'll invade here. Uh, I did, I do have my alliances, so. Let's do it. Uh, it doesn't matter which one, right? Give me the one on the border here. Oh yeah, he's fighting against him. God damn, I keep forgetting that. Oh. Man, this guy, this, this guy, it was good that we got Baghdad early, but it sucks that we're not able to get Persian land now. Okay. Ooh, I don't, cannot take a stewardship hit right now. Or can I? Uh, 26 would take us down to 24, so I think that's okay. Okay, we'll take up meritocracy, and then we'll go scholarship focus. I'm not increasing the development right now, so that's not going to help us uh, this very second. But once we convert this to our culture, it will help us. So violent, all these people, man. Can't we just live peacefully and develop our lands? There we go. So we have a couple of good alliances. It's like even this guy. Okay, this guy we could declare war on. But the problem is, is he losing his war? Where is it? Yeah. So like this guy's probably going to lose this war. So I don't want to declare war for it and then have to waste all my stuff. What do I want here? 
100 piety sounds good to me. Oh man. I do not need all these pop-ups right now. Why is my gold so low? Oh. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> we're getting invaded. Oh, my stewardship went down too. That sucks. Oh. I'm okay. Okay, so yeah, we lost this, or our liege lost this war. I was not involved, even though he took my land. Um, so we lost these two counties here. But you know, that's not the end of the world. We were at a pretty big penalty for being above our limit. Anyway. Uh, wait, do we have a better wife? No. In terms of stewardship? Don't think so. At least we're gonna hit a hundred. Oh, 26. That's that's pretty good actually. Hello there. Bubble boy, what is that? Bubble boy twelve. Nice to uh nice to have you here. Um wait, did this guy's war end or is he still fighting? Okay, he's still fighting. Well, once that war ends, we can at least try to get our Persian county that we deserve. Who's he fighting? Oh my god, okay. Of course the Persians are working together. Okay, my son. I actually have a good son not this game, although it probably won't matter. Another good daughter. The good thing is we'll be able to make a lot of alliances this game, so that should get us out of sticky situations. I'd love to be able to use her Baghdad. Like we'll, we're gonna need Baghdad later because we want to uh, uh, the the Duchy of Baghdad because we'll want to create a Duchy building down there eventually, but not right now. Um. These guys are still fighting their little war. Is there any other Persians I could try to take? Okay, this guy doesn't have alliances anymore. This could be a chance. Let's fabricate a claim. Um, over here. Should go pretty quick because this guy has a lot of learning. And then I'll be able to try to... Uh, Oh wait, this is its own land, so I think I can declare war against this guy. Okay, perfect. Never mind, I'll just declare war on that guy instead. Let's cancel this. How do I do this? Perfect. Thank you, Bubble Boy. Oh, I didn't see your message earlier. It is my first stream. It's technically my second stream, but we're not talking about that. Uh, okay, so I just need to raise my little army over here in the tip of Baghdad. I guess I shouldn't risk it, and I should probably also... Whoops. I should also station these guys first before doing this. Every little bit of damage counts. You don't want to risk anything in this game. I also have too many. Oh, does that give me a penalty actually? 20% extra, okay. So I think I will make the duchy. I wanted to see if I was able to get away with not making this duchy, but I'll do it now. Uh, okay, cool. So yeah, the, our horse archers are going to do a lot of damage. I'm going to also call in our uh, one of our allies here. 350 is... Okay, we won't call him in unless we have to. Because that's a bit too steep for my blood, honestly. Let's raise my army. And 
let's see if we can get in here. I have to be careful about... Okay. <laughs> what? How does he have gold? Okay, I will call them in, actually. Can't take any chances here. We're going to be behind on getting the hybrid culture this time. Which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, where is... Where are my allies? Okay, they're over here. Nice. The Egyptians are going to come help us out very soon. Uh, I guess I'll put down the peasants before fighting this war. And of course they're going to be all the way down here. Uh, I'll take the piety because I'm- oh, I forgot. I'm supposed to be going down, uh... I'm supposed to be going to apostate as soon as possible. I have to remember to do that next time. Uh-oh. We got smallpox, ladies and gentlemen. At least we have a good, uh, court physician. Oh no, I have smallpox. Hopefully I do not die. Okay. Push back these peasants. We can recruit this guy. Who was saying? Somebody said they always kill this guy. They execute him. Um, the peasant leader? You should always recruit them. Like, they're good. This guy's not that good. He only has 18 marshal. But like, 13 prowess? That's a good knight. See, look at this. Now he's my knight and he has uh, 10. What the heck? Why did that go down? But let's look at my army, actually. Yeah, you can see he's one of like my better knights, actually. I personally wouldn't kill those guys. <laughs> demand conversion. Yeah, I would have demanded conversion there, too, but he did not accept, unfortunately. Um, okay, let's go to pedology. And now that we have the Egyptians with us, I think it's probably safe to go over here and uh, take their capital. Okay, so we have... This is good. We have our culture down here. Very nice. 5,000. Okay, so I don't think I will be diverging at first. I was thinking maybe we could diverge the culture first, pick up bureaucratic, and then... Uh, hybridize with the Persians but that's a bit too expensive for me right now um, when did I win a battle with this guy am I losing my mind I do not remember fighting him Okay. I don't know why stream elements stops people from... I don't know if it's swearing. I have to like edit the settings of it. I think it's way too strict, this auto mod thing. I was just worried about people spamming stuff, you know? Sorry about that. If that is you who have been uh, timed out or whatever. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm going to turn him down. I have to figure out how to do that after. Uh, what can we do here? We got a ransom. That's good. Oh no! You know what I did, guys? Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't build the temple. And now that I converted it to my culture, it's 
Oh, disaster. Disaster. Hello, Fable. Thanks for the follow. This is a... Oh, I can't believe I did that. Because now we don't have city planning, so I can't build temples anymore. I guess we'll just research it. It'll slow us down a little bit. Oh crap, okay. You can whisper it to me. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Shitty. Um, the good thing is though, like now that this territory is our culture, it also has pretty high development. You can see we've got 20 development in Baghdad. I'm gonna start um, increasing the development with my steward now. So it's gonna go all the way up to 2.2. And every point we increase of development is gonna directly relate to our average development for our culture because this Mongolian culture that I started as uh, did not actually exist in the world. It was like a, I don't know if it's a dead culture or whatever, but um, yeah, there weren't any counties of it. So now we have a one county culture, which is my favorite thing because we should be able to research things super fast. So it's not the end of the world that I didn't build those temples before uh, converting the culture. It's gonna take less than 19 years because this is gonna get faster and faster. You can actually see when this goes up by one, development right here, boom. Now if I look at the average speed, it should, uh, what the heck? It should have went from 20 to 21, so it should have went up. Okay, there you go, 0 0.42. So it goes up by 0 0.02 for every one development, your average uh, development in all your counties of your culture go up. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Just show up as a random Mongolian in the middle of uh, in the middle of the Abbasid Empire and become the tallest man of all time. That's the goal here. And there you go. So everything's turning around here. We win the war. Um, in this Persian land, we're gonna grant this to a local Persian noble. And now, if we click on their culture, you'll see that. Oh, look at this. We're getting boosted by the stabilization phase. This is huge. So the um, the acceptance is going to go up really quick here. Really nicely. Um, is there anything I want to do here? And we're also going to grant these away to some Persians. Okay, look at all these Persians we have now. This is perfect. Uh, we'll start down here with this random one in the desert. Somebody who hopefully won't turn turn around and stab me in the back. This guy's trusting, so that'll be okay. And look at this, guys. We're going to be going up by 1% uh, now, so that's huge. We're going to take this one, redouble development. And we're actually at our domain limit now, which is pretty solid. And we have a decent amount of piety, and are we close to getting the next thing? Not that close, actually. That's okay. Alrighty. Um, perks. So yeah, we're one perk away from getting apostate, which should let us create our tall religion which is going to be pretty good for us. Uh, we're making six gold per month, which is decent. Ooh, why did we inherit some land? Okay, we got this castle, which is actually good. Uh, it lowers the building construction time in Baghdad, which is nice. Uh, that means I'll get rid of another one of these holdings, which I don't want. We'll grant this to another Persian dude. This guy is... I'm zealous I'm a bit worried about because I'm gonna have to convert but he's humble so I think that means he's gonna be friendly to us I think it's trusting no it's trusting and content which give you a big boost uh, like as in vassal opinion 
you can see right here opinion of least plus plus 15 from being trusting but i don't remember what the third one is i know there's a third one i talked about it in my uh, world conquest video is it patient no is it humble it's humble yeah it is humble you can see you get a plus 10 opinion uh they have a plus 10 opinion of their liege if uh, if they're humble so we'll give it to this guy and now if we have a look at our persians we're going up by 1.3 which is really nice we only need to get to 20 and then we can create the hybrid culture the, th the thing that would have saved us is if the persians knew city planning but they don't that's like the one tech that these persians don't know but we should share a lot of um we should gain a lot of knowledge of text from them actually which is going to be pretty useful um okay i think it's going okay right now we're at 2.5 development per per month uh we do have centralization right yeah we do so yeah garden architects is going to help a lot and then becoming a kingdom is like another thing that's going to help a lot and we are now five domains away from becoming a kingdom so we'll eventually have to declare some wars against like maybe this guy over here uh maybe we could always take back our land from uh from this guy i think that would be kind of fun because he's an evil evil man and he has three thousand special soldiers which is quite annoying can we just murder him actually I kind of like that. What? Okay. Well, this is fine for now. Okay, and now that we have a bit of gold and we don't need to spend it on anything, I'm pretty sure, we can start upgrading the uh, development buildings in the capital. So we're going to build a harbors down here. Uh, we'll do another one here. Why is it so cheap? Oh, stabilization gives you 30% discount. That's huge. So we'll do two harbors here. Which should help our development. Um, hunt? Do I want to go on a hunt? Not really... Okay. Nice. Five percent with the Persians already. So we're really just waiting for that and we're waiting to get apostate. And then we can kind of focus on maybe getting our military up a little bit. Okay, we have a harbors created here, so we're going to go ahead and make a orchards now because the orchards actually give you development, which is pretty nice. Man, there's just war going on everywhere around me. Ooh, learning lifestyle or piety. Okay, wait, we'll take learning lifestyle. That'll bump us up to get apostate, and now we can go ahead and create a new Muslim faith. Um, we'll call it Tallism, I think. And we're going to want to get Anaconism, Megalith Construction, and Pacifism. Pacifism will probably hurt us a little bit. Wait, how come I'm not getting a discount? Hello? Do I have to wait a month? I hate when that happens. Huh? It's a bit weird. I should be getting a, another discount of 75% on this. I know sometimes you have to like close the game and go back in. Um, I 
I might have to try that because I cannot afford this right now. If this was 75% cheaper, uh, we would be able to actually upgrade this. Who's trying to kill me? Get out of here. Oh, damn. Okay, so yeah, let's save quickly. I'm going to try to keep how many runs I've tried this with. Uh, just because it could take a while and I think it would be pretty fun. Yeah, it does say that, but we're getting other discounts. So we're we're cynical or whatever, cynicism. Or we're not cynical, but our faith is spiritual. So that gives us 20%. There's another discount. I think we should be getting an extra 75% discount there. Should be strange. Is it going to? Yeah, it's going to have to make me do this again. God damn it. Okay, let's just look. See, look, we're losing 20% from domain, 20% from being spiritual, and 17 from current fervor. But we need to be getting another 20, 75% from this. I've never seen, why is this not working? So weird. Oh, wait, am I reforming? Oh, I might have actual brain damage. Whoops, I'm reforming. I would have needed to pick up, oh my God, another error. I would have needed to pick up profit. Okay, I think we'll just reset actually. We'll get stressed out. We're gonna pick up profit here. Um. Okay, I don't wanna reset these though. And now we should have enough to be able to do this. Megaliths and pacifism. So if you guys don't know, uh, Megaliths lets you build these like buildings in your temples that actually act as development boosts. So that's why we're gonna we're going with Megalith construction. Anaconism will just make it cheaper to build those buildings, so we'll save some gold from that. And pacifism gets us an extra domain limit, so we'll be able to hold. Uh, one extra holding from that, which is pretty good. I'll have to do this again. Yeah, see, look at this. So now it only costs 600 piety to do this. So I could add in a couple other things. Like I think I actually will add in, uh, I mean, honestly, like, Asharism is so good because you have, like, temporal uh, clerics. You can get rid of your clerics. You can divorce at any time, I'm pretty sure. That's, like, the only other thing I wanted to look for. But you have three wives. No bastards. That doesn't really matter. Okay. I think we're good. It's a nice, bright color. Why does this guy become that? Oh, so he accepted, he wanted to convert too, or uh, the liege. That's fun. Wait, what are the options here? Okay, I'll take that. Uh, no, he didn't convert. Why did this change? Okay, so now that we have our new religion, if I click on our temple down here, well, first of all, first of all, shouldn't I be getting my pacifism bonus? Okay, there you go. So uh, I have an extra domain limit now. I can use that domain limit to revoke the temple. I have to go up with freaking crown authority first. I can now revoke this temple from this guy. That's going to get us an extra gold flat out, which is pretty good. 
But look at this, we can make super cheap um, temple buildings already. We're getting a boost for agrarianism, um, for anaconism, for the holy site, cutting cornerstones, and we're going to go for um, the megalith. So uh, you can see if we preview it, it doesn't get you 5% right away. But what it does get you is once you hit tier 4, you can actually get uh, like um, development growth bonuses per month, which is pretty cool. Um, hey Bongos, hello there, thanks for the follow. We're doing a nice um, 100 development speed run in Baghdad right now, or we're trying to. So the other thing that's really cool about these megaliths is that you can upgrade, I think it's to tier 2 only. Uh, once you're um, in tribal, but the second you go to early medieval and you pick up manorialism, you can actually upgrade these things all the way to tier 8. So that gives them 35% plus 0 0.07 for each temple. So the megaliths are pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Uh, and that's kind of why I wanted to have these temples down before I converted the culture here. That was a bit of a mistake. Um... Because now we have to wait how many years? We still have to wait 18 years, guys, to be able to plop these other temples down and get the bonuses from them. So I think this run is already kind of ruined. Yeah, in Baghdad. Baghdad is crazy uh, because of the small harbors and stuff. So we're probably going to be a bit slower than we should be, but it's going to be a good practice for me anyway. Uh, so I'm not going to restart this game just now. Let's see our Persians. We're at 13 now, so we just need to get this to 20 and we'll be able to create this hybrid culture. Um, yeah, so you can see we're going to get all these techs from hybridizing with them. And one thing I really have to make sure not to forget is to make sure to choose the uh, Iranian heritage. Um, because that's what's going to give us access to all those dynasty legacies. And, uh, yeah, the perks and stuff like that. <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. Um, Egypt, you're trying to unite Africa, eh? But running into some trouble. Egypt's trying to And then... It's, you know, that's tough. That's Crusader Kings for you. Um... Brady, thanks for the follow. Good to see you. Uh, yeah, so we're we're doing pretty good right now. Like we're we're, we're okay. We would have been better if we had these temples down. That would have been absolutely huge for us. But at least they're going to be cheap and pretty easy to build once we do have city planning finished. So what else did we say we have to do? The other things we have to do are invade um counties that are uh de jure part of the kingdom of mesopotamia because becoming a king will also come with a few development bonuses uh so for that reason how is this guy doing has he died yet oh wasn't i doing a murder scheme oh yeah i still am 44 percent. that's not bad oh <laughs> Uh oh, I think I know which uh, which mental break perk I need to choose here. Let me just see what my stewardship is. Yeah, 22, so that's fine actually. Because I think it's only at 24 you get an extra domain limit. So we're going to have to become a hashish here. Pretty good one. Well, it's actually not. It's actually not very good. <laughs> like, stewardship and learning are, are probably, like, the two most important, uh, uh, like, stats in the game. But that's fine. 12,000 against 22,000? Oh, my days. Yeah, you're gonna have to plot away. <laughs> it's medicinal, I agree. It's tough running, uh, speed running 100 development. You need to have a little bit of medicinal help.
Oh man, that's uh, it's tough though. Can you make alliances, Bongos? That's like the easy way out is to make alliances. Other than that, um, if you haven't like tuned your army to be super overpowered, then like get on some mountain tiles and try to lure them into attacking you. <laughs> Those are my that's my only advice for you without seeing the the file. Okay, let's read through the books this time. Perfect. So this is important. Scientific is going to help us with our research speed because it's actually the uh, it's actually our learning that's too low right now. We're only getting 57% chance. So the higher we can get our learning, the faster we'll be able to research city planning and then get those nice temples up and running. Uh, you can see we just finished our first uh, megalith here. I'm going to go for a trade ports actually as the other building. Um, and I need to make sure that the city guy builds a guilds and a, where is it? An orchard here for the development. That's going to be really important. If he starts building some random crap, I'm going to be very angry with him. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, I was going to put this guy on support schemes. This is like, I'm even more scatterbrained playing live than I am when I play normally. This is crazy. What? If you befriend your steward, he gives you more development? I actually didn't know that even. Do what I suck at befriending. These are the, these are, these are the important things. She's a genius with a lot of stewardship, eh? Oh wow, that's a crazy. This actually might be game changing. Thank you, Ankir. Uh, twenty-two percent. Oh damn, he's lustful. The bastard. I could try to find another stewardship who would like me better, I guess. Another steward, I mean. But the only women in my court are um, my wives or my daughters, so a little bit hard to find another man. Well, we can roll with 22% and try to get this up, I guess. My diplomacy would help. Well, too bad. Okay, so yeah, if we can kill this guy, then we can easily invade. We have claims on both these territories anyway. And then, you know, maybe I should probably start fabricating a claim on this guy's land. Maybe I can get the whole duchy and then we'll be able to have a nice kingdom soon enough. <coughs> Jeez, man, I became a hashish and now I'm uh, coughing. Coincidence? I don't know. We're at 22 development now, so our research speed should go up here. <laughs> um. Oh boy. Okay, 95% chance we kill him. There you go. He's dead, so I think that gets rid of his spe He still has the special soldiers, what the f- What are these things from, even? That's so annoying. Hmm. Do we sell our alliances? Maybe we can take him with the allies? I have a lot of daughters to ship off, to be fair. Just make sure this is not a guy I want to invade. Oh, wait, when did I get 3,000 men? Okay, so I've just been stacking levies. So I, we can take this guy, actually. It shouldn't be too hard. Uh, I still will call in my ally, though. I think 
this guy. There you are. I was wondering where you'd come from. So what does he have in this special army? Looks like he has a lot of uh, light uh, light infantry, light footmen, some bowmen and some pikemen. Are the pikemen strong against my horse archers? That's what I never remember. Horse archers counter... Doo -doo. No, they're not actually, so that's pretty decent. Okay, there we go. We got a claim up here now, which is going to be useful for later. Let's check in on the Persians again. Still only 13. Oh yeah, the... the what's it called? The Iranian Intermezzo switched actually, so now we're going to be gaining a little bit less um, cultural acceptance from these guys, which is a bit of a bummer, but uh, it should still hit 20 relatively soon. Oh no, wait, where's he going? He's just bouncing? Oh, I have to capture this one first. Okay, more learning. That's going to be good because uh, we are actually increasing development now. 2.7 development per month. Not awful. Not the best. Not awful, though. Um, this guy's running around my territory. Can we get him here? Oh yeah, he's in debt too. This is not going to end well for him. Oh, a disgusting plus 40 in the advantage modifier. That's 78% damage. Uh, the negative re uh, repercussion bongos is, um, it just costs prestige. Like, I called in, uh, what was this guy? This guy's a king, right? I didn't call in the kingdom, I called in this guy who was just a county. So it only costed me 75 prestige. The king would have costed me like 200 or 300 or something. Um, so that's the only negative. But uh, it's really not that bad and, you know, sometimes you need an ally. Although this is not one of these times, these guys are going to get destroyed now. Pretty healthy ratio right there. And now we can cap his line pretty easily. Give me back this territory that I had lost to you earlier. I'm uh, offensive. It's offensive where it costs you prestige to recruit, to ask your ally to come in. Defensive, they'll always come in with no repercussions. Ooh, a book. I'll take a book, I guess. Learning lifestyle, that's actually perfect. Let's go. Okay, let's risk this. Let's go, okay. Equip that, I probably, oh, you know what I've actually been forgetting to do, guys? Which is something I have to be doing on cooldown, pretty much. Um, one moment. Oh, I don't, I can't now, because I don't have any money. But I need to be running feasts in my capital, pretty much on cooldown, because the feast actually gives you a 20% development boost. So that's pretty helpful uh, when you're increasing your development in your capital. Opinion? No, I don't think there's opinion. I think the opinion loss is if you decline to go to a thing and you lose some fame if you decline when you're called upon. Okay, so eight gold. We'll make gold pretty quickly here. It, the, the feast doesn't need to be an expensive feast. Um, I could have showed you there on that screen, sorry. But... Um, the feast that you run to get the dev boost doesn't need to be expensive. It can be the cheapest feast possible, which is what we're going to do here. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm still befriending this guy, but, you know, doesn't look like it's going to be very successful. Because he hates, he hates me for being, um, chased. Be brutal. Oh, I can be this guy's guardian. Okay, sure. Uh... Okay, that could be enough here. So let's host the feast. It has to be in the capital because it's only the, the um, that region that's going to get the boost. And look at this, if you drop everything down to the, as cheap as possible, you can see it only costs 41 gold um, to run a feast. So it's extremely cheap and you get 20% development boost in the place you ran the feast. So really like you should probably be doing a feast in your capital all the time. As long as there's like some positive development coming out of it, it's probably going to be worth it to be honest with you guys. Oh yeah, you're right. I could have done that. Thank you. That's a good suggestion. I could have... Um, oh, can I still do it? Befriend. Target. Oh man, where is this guy going to be? What's his name? That's actually a very good... Uh, another great suggestion. Thank you. Can I switch his name? Metar. God damn it. Uh, is he, could he not be coming to the feast? I guess so, eh? Uh, well, isn't he in my capital anyway? Why are you not at my feast? Oh, the Abbasid guy is at my feast, though. That's cool. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's there. Bastard, man. I just want to be your friend. Is that so bad? Uh, What else should we do? We should also be continuously upgrading our temple buildings here. And our other stewardship buildings. Those are going to be really important for us. Uh, Our perks, at least, are... Pr oh, he died. Okay. Okay, wait, we can make this guy our vassal. He's not going to be as good at increasing development. But I think we could... Uh, he... I think I saw him here. Right? It's that guy, right? This guy right here. Correct? Correct. Okay, that's awesome. Hopefully that'll go through. So I'm trying to see if I can see. So he gives us 0 0.46 right now. So if we befriend him, we'll see how much it goes up by. Hunts also? Okay. I'll try that after. Uh, Who the heck are you guys? Are you important to me? No. Oh, this is the guy, right? This is the guy. He becomes my friend, 15% chance, I'm close to growing a friendship worth. Okay, that's awesome. I think I will take opinion with you. No longer stressed out, that's awesome. A little bit of prestige. Okay, there you go, he became my friend. Okay. So first of all, let's check him. Sure, go meet your peers. Go meet your peers. Leave me alone. Uh, oh my goodness. What a difference. It was 0 0.46 and that was 1.7? She, goddamn. Look at that, guys. We're now going up by 4.6 in the capital. Here you can see the great banquet. That's the bonus from the feast. So 20%. Really nothing to... Um, Nothing to laugh at here, that's very good. Okay, this could be game changing guys. 4.6? It took us a bit to get going, 16 years, but I think 
we should be able to really start stacking now. How are the Persians doing? Are we cooking them? Oh, what the hell? They converted their culture here. Why would they do that? Uh, 16. So maybe in four years? Yo, it is a lot. It is a lot. I am like pretty happy with that. Uh, what else? So there's no other development buildings in the capital to get. Sorry. But, um, I think I'll probably pick up this horse herds one actually to boost our horse archers strength because they're really going to like hold our army together. We're not going to have much else going for us other than the horse archers. And then I'll do maybe farms and fields in this castle once I get another building. The other really good thing about Baghdad, guys. Oh, it gets better when you're best friends, hey? Okay, sick. Um, I could keep, just keep swaying him. Uh, what the heck was I going to say? Okay, very nice. Oh, we can ransom this guy for 100. Who is this man? <laughs> this random guy just has 100 gold in my prison. Absolutely love to see that. Okay, so now our development's really going to start kicking off. And that's really good. The faster the development goes up, the faster we'll get our research and uh, we'll just start snowballing from here. You can see 10 years now only to get city planning, which is good. Uh, screw that. We'll forget about that. Ooh. Gold. Okay, so gold we're just going to take and pump into our territories now at this point. We'll get this horse building for our horse archers. Uh, we can't upgrade our trade ports, eh? We don't have crop rotation. Bit of a bummer that. Guild. So I think I will build the orchards in the city for the mayor. Just because like I really don't want him to build another building that won't boost our development. I think the the guilds are going to be pretty important. And let's check our damage on our horse archers now. Yeah, so wild horse taming is giving us 10% bonus there. Be nice. So they're all the way up to 63 damage, the horse archers. Oh, no way one of my daughters got... Uh, Typhus. Oh, she does not look good. Jesus. What do we do here, guys? No treatment. She's a good daughter, too. She has a... She's a genius. I think every now and again, you have to sacrifice one of your daughters for the, for the dev gods. We'll see if she's able to get out of it on her own with no medical assistance, then, you know, she's meant to live. Okay, we inherited this piece of land, which doesn't help us really. Does this guy hate my guts? Oh, this is a woman and a child. Uh, One sec, let me just check these Persians again. 18, so we're almost there, and we are still hitting the max of 0 0.5 in terms of vassalage. So I'll just grant this to a random dude. I do have to be careful not to grant any land to my Mongolian people because they could potentially get that county converted to the Mongol Persian culture that I'm going to create. So uh, instead, let's give it to this ugly guy just for fun. Oh boy, he is uh, not looking too good. Um, 
4.7. Yeah, I'm really waiting to get the other temples. And then after that, we need crop rotation. But I think the Persians have crop rotation, so, so I should get it from them. Oh yeah, the other thing I'm going to do is declare war for my claims against this guy. Uh... Just because we need more land to create this kingdom. How many do we need even? Oh, we only need two more pieces of land. That's huge. Uh, my intentions are pure. Wow, look at that, guys. A thousand, over a thousand kills in that battle. 98%. Okay, that'll take 200, won't it? There we go. Grant this to somebody who hopefully won't revolt against me. Oh, this guy's perfect. Content and trusting. That's a good man. Um. Okay, so now we're just missing one county and 500 gold. So who could we take a county away from? Baghdad is actually, okay, no. I thought maybe Baghdad wasn't part of the empire, but it is. Uh, does this guy have allies? I guess I'll fabricate a claim over here. Just because I'd like to have the duchy of Baghdad in the first place anyway. I only have one of three, so I'm going to need to take two away from him to do that. Um... God Ninja? No, I'm not actually. I work full time, like a nine to five. That's kind of why like I can never upload as much as I wish I could. Cause it does take a while to edit. And sometimes like, you know, you get home from work and you're just, my brain is so fried. I don't have like any energy to edit. So it's a little tough. It would be nice to be full time though, but I don't think it's feasible at this very moment. Oh, wait. I was supposed to check your message, wasn't I? Yeah, the culture mechanics are difficult, dude. It's sometimes... Uh, um, I think, though, there's, there's like, ways you can... You can know how to manipulate them. So, like, in this situation, because I only have one county with my culture, and I'm going to create a hybrid culture with the Persians. I think only this one county should change. I don't think any of the other Persian lands will change. Especially because all my Persian vassals don't actually own land that's Persian. I think if I had a Persian la vassal in Persian land, that county has like a chance to get converted. But it's a little bit tricky. You really, you kind of really have to play around with it. Um, like just to get used to it. Meanwhile, we have 24 development in Baghdad going up by 5.1 and we are only 19 years uh, uh, since the start of the game. So eight years less until we left until we have city planning and we are, we should be becoming a kingdom soon enough. Oh, what the Persian Bedouins? How did they get the hybrid culture before me? The bastards. Okay, one more percent, so let's wait for this to go through. There you go. So let's make the hybrid culture. We need Iranian heritage. We'll keep our language. Does spiritual give you... Yeah, spiritual should give me the type of court that gives me development, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if ceremonious does also, though. Do I need to check this? Hmm. That's a good question. I'm actually gonna look this up. Um. What are these called? Ethos.
Yeah, because this is pretty important. Like, I need my court to be the type of court that lets you get 0.2 development per month. But I don't remember if both of these have that option. So it, it's a, I think it's administrative court, the one that gives you the development boost. boost. Um, and let's see here. Ceremonious doesn't actually, so I can't take Ceremonious. But Spiritual does, so we'll keep Spiritual. Uh, okay, in terms of our techs, I don't need Malleable Invaders anymore. I definitely want Guardian Architects, and I can keep 5, right? So I have 4 selected. I need Agrarian. I can get the Heavy Infantry, which is kind of cool. The Irrigation Experts would be good if I had Land and Dry Lands, but I don't. So I honestly don't need that either. Uh, I'll take the learning level from Devotion and Lifestyle Experience. That's actually pretty important. What other one? Do you guys have any recommendations? I'm kind of like... Like, I could either take Horse Breeders... For what? For the cost? Recruitment costs and maintenance costs? That's okay. Or I could take Fatwa for the Heavy Infantry. Oh, actually, number of knights is good. Okay, I think I'll take that. Sounds pretty good to me. Pretty good. And look at this, guys. We're going to get ledger, we're going to get gavel kind, uh, public works, and barracks. All for free from this. Aesthetics, let's keep what? Let's keep Mongolian for the lols. Um into Iranian buildings. Okay. Let's form the hybrid culture. You can see we have still only one uh, county that has this culture, so we'll just have to make sure never to grant land to somebody who's of our culture now. And if I look at my research... City planning still will take only six years, and they didn't have crop rotation actually, which is a bit of a bummer. So we're gonna have to get that right after. But that's pretty good. We're going up by 5.1 still. Um. Okay, and okay, no, I don't have my court just yet because I'm not a king. But once this claim goes through, we will become a king, and then we can get our court and get... Uh, ooh, okay, all of Baghdad will be mine. That's huge. Um, Yeah. Let's get this guy. Oh yeah, the other thing I wanted to check was if we wanted to reform... Let's just see. Okay, so we can reform also, so we can get rid of one of these uh, perks. Or we can wait till we go into 900 and we can add a new uh, tradition here for, well not for free, for a lot of prestige, but we should be getting a lot of prestige at that point. Um, so I have a list of tenants that I, I'm thinking of picking up here. Traditions, I mean, not tenants. So let's have a look together. Let's say if we were to get rid of, uh, I don't know, man, horse lords, just as an example. There's collective lands, which you can see gives all your, uh, which would give me 20%, a 20% boost, uh, which is pretty decent. There's also, is it here? There's maritime mer uh, mercantilism, which I think is social maybe? Uh, am I going to find it? Oh, maybe seafarers. Maybe maritime mercantilism is like a specific one. No, it's not seafarers. Uh, oh, maybe I can't get that one because I'm not coastal. Because that was one of them I was thinking of starting as. These were all like the traditions I was like, these could be good. Oh, who was asking about the men-at-arms? These are the, these are some of the unique men-at-arms they have. Light, this is a cool light cav. I think it does more damage. And then this is the uh, the Zupin Spearman. 
the uh oh yeah so it's not a light infantry it's a it's a a spearman but it actually counters heavy calves heavy infantry and light cavalry which is pretty cool so there are a couple of cool um minute arms they added uh yeah so the other things i was thinking of getting were republican legacies which would help for cities but i'm only gonna have one city so i, I don't think it's valuable really so I think we'll probably have to go for collective lands here. For that juicy 20% development boost. Oh, well, let's see if our banquet wore off actually. Do we still have this? Okay. 888. It would be really nice actually if somebody could remind me um, when I'm going to lose this uh, benefit so I can reapply it with another feast. Please and thank you. Okay, so what are we doing? Oh yeah, we're at war. That's what we're doing. Oh, who's this? Whoa, 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 whoa. This cannot happen. This is part of the Iranian intermezzo. You can like pay people to uh, attack other people and stuff. Really not good for me if this were to go through. Um, so I'm going to have to do something about this. Oh man, can you... Okay, that's the only war that... The, uh, he's in at least, so I think I can offer to join it. Boom, that's bad though. We have a heavy advantage though. Hopefully he can send troops in. Okay, he has some standing right here actually. Let's go. Is he going to stand there or is he going to come fight? Like, don't do this to me. Not right now. Uh, oh wow, I can't call my allies into this other war, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, come on, dude. Come fight with me. Come fight with me. Don't do this. Oh no. God damn it. This is not what we need to happen right now. You have enough men. We could win this fight. Oh my god. Dude, that is so annoying. It's actually so annoying. God damn you, you bastard. You Abyssid bastard. Why can't I be my own commander? Was he waiting for this guy? I don't understand. Oh my god. Whoa, look at this uh this mufti we have. He's pretty good. Okay, wait, this guy's leaving now. It's pretty big. Yeah, don't forget guys when you're playing this game to like, if you get beaten in a battle, it's always a good idea to re-raise uh, re an army because it's going to have your knights that you're missing out of your main army. So that's pretty crucial. Uh, we actually have 10 knights now because of that perk thing. Okay, he's gonna help at least. So well, let's just stick near him and we shouldn't lose this war. Oh, that's gonna be big. We're gonna get 20% of our counselor's skill. And we just picked up a, a, a uh, religious council member who has 40. So our learning should be through the roof right now. Look at that, plus six from scholarly circles. Or no, not scholarly circles. 
Uh, plus 8 from learn on the job. So now we're going to have 86% chance, uh, which is huge for our learning, for our research speed. Let's go. Yep. Yeah, that's why sometimes like if you lose a couple of battles and you'll just like keep spiraling because knights are actually like really really valuable are we gonna attack him here okay i'm down i'm down if you're down wait wait, wait. he's not doing it uh should this tick no that won't tick but that's okay Let me in, let me in, I wanna I wanna fight too. I wanna help. I wanna help, I wanna help. <laughs> They're like already dead. Wait, did we lose this one? No, we won. Okay. Uh I was involved. That counts. Alright, we'll let them handle the rest of the war. We got uh we got our own war to win over here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ankir. Uh, no longer. See, look at this moderator, man. It's crazy. Why is it timing you out? We've got the money to do this too, which is really nice. So it's actually, it's pretty crazy. It's actually better. Wait, let's. Uh, okay, wait, we'll start this first. It's actually better to have a less good steward and have him be friend, like be a super friend than it is, I guess, to have um, a good one not be your friend. That's interesting to me. So can I still befriend him? Or will it say that's not possible? Okay. That's fine. Okay, let's just win another county here so we can end this war. I don't want to be fighting anymore. I also have to make sure the Abbasids don't get killed. I'm like kind of supposed to be helping them. <laughs> I don't know bon uh, Bongos, it's the Automod, he's a bit too, uh, a bit too uh, zealous of an Automod. But I'll have to fix that for the next time. Sorry brother. Who the heck is this? And what are you doing at a feast? This is... This is not the time. You're brutally mauled. And ill. And pregnant. <laughs> like, you should not be here. Um, you should not be here. <laughs> I should... <laughs> I'm gonna tell her I couldn't care less. That is hilarious. All right, now travel back to your house. Brutally mauled. Jesus. Who's this? Uh-oh. The Avises are getting chased down. <laughs> Look at the run. Just keep running. Oh, mountains. That's actually so smart. Look at the computer thinking. Okay, so we want our war down here. Sure. We have Baghdad now, right? Yeah. Oh, did I educate my son or did I completely forget? Hopefully we won't have to play as this guy. That's a, that was a bit of a mistake. Um... So we should have enough land now to do the kingdom, we just need to get the money next. 
Ooh, that's not good. Can I come in? Oh, no way. We still lost. But let's see, it was pretty even. It doesn't seem like the worst outcome, honestly. Um, what I do need, though, honestly, is uh, a better commander. My commander is not that great. Because I can be the commander, and let's see, do I have a wife who's good? At Marshall. 12, eh? That's awful, I guess. Okay, but let's find a new wife. We'll sort by Marshall ability here. We'll marry this lady. The little, this is what I like to call a little bait and switch. Make her a primary spouse. And now, if I make her, if I put her on chivalry, um, it'll make us a Tier 29 commander, which is pretty good. Not strong enough to beat these guys, but uh, hopefully he's coming back here. Oh. Uh, so my son has cancer. Do I have any other sons actually? Is it this baby my only other son? Wow, would you look at that? Well, at least I can educate him and make sure he has the right traits. Oh no, I have this guy as my son too. I'm sorry, just, his hair is a little long, you know? Uh, he's shy, which sucks, but uh, he's curious. So we can put him on a learning education. Which, just in case my character dies at some point, but, like, if everything goes to plan, I should be hitting 100 development as he gets pretty old. Okay, so we have both the armies here. Should we run down there and stop them, maybe? Are they going to come with me or not? Oh, shit. Who's this guy? Um, sure. Okay, yeah, screw this. If you guys are going to go fight him, I'm going to come with you. Wow, that was actually really close. <laughs> we almost lost that, guys. Like, why is he so bad? Jeez Louise. Okay, he only has a thousand men now. We should just pummel him. Like, we we have to not let him... Uh... Okay, that guy died. That's good. We have to not let him come back. Ooh, just. That's a good trait. Bessie goes moo. Thanks for the follow. Great to see you here. Uh, currently doing some hundred development runs. What are we getting? 4.9 out of the capital, not too shabby. Trying to become a kingdom to get that number up. Uh, how many knights do I have? See, I only have six knights in my army. We should win this one though. Boom. And now we have 100%. Whew, thank goodness we were able to defend against that. I was actually pretty worried. Um, Cause that was for my whole duchy. But we're, I think we're getting to the point where we're gonna be pretty strong now. We're gonna go up to 37, 3,700 men. Um, can ransom a few people here. I'm going to switch my tax decree, I think, to... Uh... Men at arms damage plus, that's pretty good. I might do that. And then we'll disband everybody. Then 
Very nice. We must be close to getting city planning. Okay, six months till city planning. Um, thanks for the follow, Atero. We are just waiting for gold, I think, to be able to make the kingdom of Mesopotamia. So I think that's what we're going to have to do next. So we'll just let this cook for a little bit. The worst part is our temples are really cheap right now. Aren't they? Because it's the unrest phase, so I think the buildings are cheap. Oh, look at that, guys. 30 gold to go to a tier 2 trade port. I wish I was able to do that right now. Wait a minute. Oh, who is this now? Fighting for this guy's whole claim for the Arabian Empire. I don't want that to go through, actually. Um... Oh, this is so annoying with all these wars going on. I'm just trying to live a peaceful existence. Uh, so yeah, eventually I will want to claim his throne to become the um, the Abbasid, the Empire of the Abbasids, because then I can end the struggle. And for ending the struggle, I'm gonna get a lot of uh, um, what's it called? This stuff, renown. And if I look at my dynasty tree, you can actually see now that we uh, have a culture with Iranian heritage, which we got for hybridizing with the Persians, um, we now have access to this whole line. And what we really want is ancient authority, because that makes it so that um, we have this tax decree that's going to give us a ton of development. It's pretty much all comes down to getting this tax decree. So our goal after we become a kingdom is going to be to uh, um, to become the Abbasid Empire and end the struggle. I think that's a pretty good, pretty good plan here. As for right now, though, I think I will join this guy's war because he's not that strong, honestly. So if we can keep him in charge, wait, who do we want to fight? This guy, I think, yeah. He's also invading like territory right next to me, which I do not appreciate in the slightest. Yeah, you better run, dude. You better run. And I'll actually be the commander. I'm a tier 34 commander, so... It's pretty decent. And there you go. Kill that guy. And did we weaken him a lot? Yeah, we got some kills. Hello Dakota Ball, thanks for joining in, tuning in to our development run here. Um, where did he go, this guy? Nice. Okay, let's switch myself out. I don't want to be the commander anymore. And I'll also put my wife back on managed domain, but I'll also switch my wife to the one who has really good stewardship. Because that way I won't be getting any penalties for being above my domain limit. <laughs> Thanks, Dakota. Um, cool to hear from you. This will be a video, well, not just this stream, but eventually I'm kind of practicing right now, doing 100 development runs. Uh, I want to get the world's fastest 100 development, and I think Baghdad's the place to do it. I got a nice little strategy that I'm employing, but it still needs to be tested. So that's kind of what I'm doing here, and what I'm going to be doing on stream for the next like week, maybe? And then hopefully I'll be able to cut everything up together and make a nice little video about it. So if you're here actually watching, you get like a sneak preview. Uh, do I still need this guy? No, dispatched. Boom. Range marriage. I don't think I will. I will ransom though, because I just need a little bit more gold. We just need to get to 500 here. Okay, everything's coming in here. I'm going to uh, 
go down the whole of body tree because I need this guy to stay alive for like a hundred years. So that's the next plan for our perks. And here we go. We're about to hit 500. There it is. So now if we look at Mesopotamia, we can actually create a kingdom, even though we are a vassal of the Abbasid Empire, because he's an empire tier realm, we can become a kingdom tier realm um, and still be his vassal, which is, you know, interesting. Let's get into my court, uh, hang some of the banners and such on the wall. This is going to be pretty important, getting a court. Uh, well, I'll show you why in the first place. If we go for an administrative court, you can see at level 7, um, court grandeur, we gain 0.2 development per month. Oh my god, guys, I just realized what I didn't have um, on, which is really bad. Let me just put all this to tier 4, maybe, to start. Oh my goodness, guys, 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 guys. The whole reason we became hybridized with the Persians was to be able to get the court gardener, and I didn't have him on. When did I become Persian? It's been three years. I've missed out on so much development. This is shamble, shambolic. Oh, I'm missing gold even to recruit a gardener. Okay, but we can put an average gardener in for now at least. Boom. Oh yeah, and we, oh my god, I'm so distracted. We also got city planning, so I can make the uh, temple holdings once I have enough money to do that. So first of all, once the gardener's uh, employed, you can see we go up to 6.4 development per month. And they're right here at 0 0.4 development on their own from that, which is really nice. Uh, I will take this decision first to find a recruit a gardener. I'm missing a bit of money to do that, but let's see. Actually, can we ransom? Oh, he's giving us vassals now. That's nice. Uh, so let's just wait till we have enough gold here. Oh, 13 gold, okay. Sorry. Okay, so we'll recruit a gardener. And the chances are, is he better? So he has good skills. So you can see good will actually get us uh, 0.55 development per month. So that's, it's a pretty like noticeable difference. The highest this can go is 0.7, which is with an excellent gardener. And that is actually insane. Like that's what we want for sure. Um, yeah, you can see we're now going up by 6.8 and it's still not even the year 900. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, we have 28 development right now. Once we get 30, uh, we'll be able to make a university down here for only 100 gold. Oh my God. Um, yeah, but we have to get exalted amongst men first, which honestly shouldn't be that hard. Am I still swaying somebody? Who am I swaying? Oh, I'm... S oh, that guy. Yeah, cancel that. I don't remember how to become best friends with this guy. Or if it's, like, doable through an event or something. Mithrans, thanks for the follow. Good to see you. Hello. Hello there. I don't like when these guys get claims on my territory. Oh, wait a minute. Can I build the Great Megalith or do I need something? I can also build the Great Megalith as of right now. So that's pretty huge. Oh, the other thing I'm going to do, because I have realized I'm like a little bit running out of gold. I'm going to put my Spy Master on Fine Secrets. Oh, but I don't have this perk. Okay, I'll actually switch into Wealth for a little bit just to pick up Golden Obligations because that's honestly really important uh, to get a little bit more gold because we are running a bit low on gold right now. Ooh, look at this book I got. 
That's cool. Stewardship lifestyle experience. That's perfect. That's exactly what we need. Uh, make a chest. Yeah, these artifacts are going to be pretty important. And we need to hit seven grandeur. Those are like things we got to do. Got a new sun, a new war. Oh, I'm holding too many duchies. Okay, my bad. Uh, wait, what am I holding even? Okay, we'll grant this lady this place here. Um, oh, I just got raided. What the heck? That's my first ever raid. I have to set up a thingy for it. I didn't bother setting one up because I was like, uh, hey, uh, nice to see you guys. I didn't bother setting up a, like a little video for that because I didn't think anybody would raid me. Yeah, I'd love to like get all the sound effects cooking. Um, you know, all my favorites. There is, you can play some sound effects down at the bottom if you guys check it out. <laughs> uh, they're free right now, but I might have to like not have them free if people spam them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're doing pretty good right now. I don't think we're world record speed, but it's good practice. I have to say that much. And we're gonna keep our gold. We need our gold. We have a lot of stuff to do with the gold. Uh, mainly create these temples and then upgrade them with development buildings because we are a bit lacking on our development bu buildings right now, to be honest. Oh, also I made another mistake. I should have been like researching crop rotations because that'll help me upgrade my dev buildings. Let's strike a good deal, hopefully. Damn it. Um, how do I reinstate this guy again? There's nobody to give development, eh? That would be too crazy. Dread for tyranny. Marauder. Oh, Valiant's good, right? Army damage, 10%. I'll take that. That's pretty decent, honestly. Oh, I actually have two accolades I can get. Thug. Thug. Tactician. Not really that useful, if I'm going to be honest with you. Alrighty, so I think we just need to let our gold stack for right now. And we're at what? We're at 29 development, so we're actually almost able to build the, uh, the university. I just need to get a bit more prestige. Okay, and we have golden obligations. I think my spy master has been cooking. Oh yeah, he has. Uh, we got a few people we can blackmail, so let's blackmail this guy. We won't blackmail anybody who's poor. Oh man, what the heck? He didn't accept it. Wow, another one. What are the odds on that? 80% chance it doesn't go through? I think I want to be a witch. Okay, we have our first legacy. I'm going to pick up the tax jurisdiction one. Uh, it's really not going to be useful for now, but it's going to be crucial for later. So that's fine, I would say.
Uh, okay, and here we go. We can demand payments for these hooks from those secrets those people had. So that's 50 gold, another 50. And who is this? I can get one for my wife, I guess, for 25. So that'll get me up to... Um, almost enough to make... Well, I could make a temple, but I'm actually going to hold off because it's only 100 gold right now to construct the... Uh, Oh, no, wait, but I don't have this. Okay, sorry. I will I will make one temple right now. And then what I will do is... Uh, I didn't realize I could upgrade this to tier 3. So I'm going to do that when we get enough gold. There we go. So the good thing is this temple is going to be done pretty quick. And then it's way more development for us. I think tier 3 is as high as you can upgrade this thing without, uh... Bleh. Oh, why is it glitching out? Do, do, do. Yeah, without having a temple grounds, and you can't have a temple grounds unless you have manorialism. So we're gonna have to wait for manorialism for that. But we will be able to upgrade our trade ports and fruit orchards all to tier 2 in just 10 months when we have crop rotation. So that's going to be good. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, and the... Oh, crap. What did I do there? Uh, so the temple is finished. So we can go ahead and make another... I'm trying to think what do I want to do. Because tier 3 gets me to what? 10? I'm trying to think if it's more valuable to have the megaliths than it is to have a trade port or orchard. I guess it is, honestly. So we'll do that first. We hit 30 development in the capital, so we just need to go up 4,000 more prestige to be able to build the, um, the university. So that's pretty good. Uh, the buildings are going to be really quick to upgrade here, so we'll do a trade port. 15 gold guys are you seeing that absolutely mental i'll pick up a royal architect too uh because that's going to make it even quicker look at this three months only to build this trade port i'm having kids like crazy Oh yeah, I also need to change off this when I get the chance. So this is what? 899, so two years. Also the banquet uh, perk has ran out in the capital. So we're going to do another feast here in Baghdad. Cheap as possible. And there you go, guys. We also hit... Um, the feast will continue. I don't need to go to the war. We also hit crop rotation, so you can see we will be able to upgrade uh, all these buildings. 25 gold for a tier 2 trade port, guys. How do you like that? What else do we need in tribal? I don't think we really need anything. And uh, in just three years, we'll start going into early medieval where we can get memorialism, which is going to be the next big milestone for us. Welcome, friends. Okay, so we'll upgrade this as well. Our gold is starting to go up now, which is good. Uh, that's actually good. We need prestige too. We need a lot of prestige to be able to eventually uh, get a new uh, tradition in our culture. Let's see. Why are you all poor? Blackmail this guy. Blackmail this guy too. So already guys, we made like how much gold from that first round of blackmailing? 
it was like 125 and now we made another 100 Oop, and we can actually blackmail my daughter too love that so already that's like 200 gold that's pretty much almost enough so we finished our feast giving us another 20 percent development boost in the capital 6.4 now which is pretty good we need what 55 more gold to be able to build another temple and i want to hit that before this thing changes um to the next tier i don't know what i want here large levies not really bah. Twelve point two gold per month now. It's starting to get better. This is why when I was like testing with debug mode and I had unlimited money, I thought it was kind of realistic because at a certain point you have like so much gold, you're uh, you don't really know what to do with it. Like you would just have unlimited gold once you really get the ball rolling in this game. How's the Abbasids doing? So he's actually gained some strength here. He had a tough patch there where we were helping him out. I do eventually want to do a claim throne scheme against him and win the throne for myself. But I'm just haven't decided uh, what's the right time to do that yet. Maybe once I get my economy really pumping and then I'll uh, um, I'll upgrade all my men at arms like I'll get 500 horse archers and stuff. And then I'll probably declare war on him. I think that's a good idea. Do, do, do. Also, actually, let's look at our court for a sec. So yeah, I think we will have to go to tier 5 everything. No. We'll take tier 4 fashion. Apply that. Just to be able to go to tier 7, which... As you can see right here, it gets us another 0.2 development per month in the capital, which is actually extremely valuable for us. Seven days left until that temple finishes. Now we can go over here and uh, again, build a megalith and a trade port. I'm holding too many counties. Let's grant this to this guy. Wait, why are you, why, why is this happening to me? Oh, stop. 7,000 men? What the frick? Uh, that's a good idea, actually. Wait, you can marry the same wife again? For prestige. Okay, let's try that. Prestige gain. But this guy's gonna get pissed at me, won't he? Does that matter? I guess not. Where is this even? Oh, it's this guy over here. <laughs> okay, let's try this. I'll gain... Oh. Zero. I think I'm too famous to get a lot of prestige gain. Potentially. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be gaining too much prestige. Oh, no worries, though. That's a good suggestion. I think I'll be able to hit it, though, relatively soon. I'm going to start, once I get my economy really ticking, I'm going to uh, do, like, a grand wedding and or a tournament or something, you know? Very easy to get prestige from those. Uh, also, I probably should start getting these, like, regalias and stuff. Just because like that gets you a lot of prestige as well and other stuff. Uh, faction. Wait, what is this? Not a fan. Well, I can marry this vassal though and get her out of this. I think I will do that. Oh, I'm obese. What the f 
freak. How? Cause I just cause I had some feasts, man. Oh, okay. That's the downside of having too many feasts, I guess. Uh, that's bad though. We cannot we cannot be overweight because that's gonna give us a health decrease, and we need to stay alive for as long as possible. So what I'm gonna do is lose weight. I'll also recruit a gardener just to see if this lady is extremely good at gardening. And then we have a good gardener. She's not, so that's fine. Man, I think I'm gonna lose this duchy though. Does it matter? I don't think it matters because I have my kingdom. It's just a bit annoying. I don't want to fight off an army of... Wait, what? Didn't I have so much? Oh, okay, we switched. I keep um, forgetting because I had way more levies. I was at like 6,000 men before. Uh, <coughs> and now I'm at 2k, but it's every time you switch from unrest to concession or stabilization or whatever, uh, unrest gives you like a hundred percent levy boost. So that's pretty crazy. Give me this, and we'll go back to learning now, so I can pick up the rest of whole of body and stay alive for a really long time. So we're close to going into the year 900. I'm no longer obese, that's good. What do I need to build this again? Oh, I just need gold. So I think I'm gonna get the great megalith next, probably. Join my court, please. Uh, carefree should be good. Get rid of some stress. I'm obese again. Okay, thank you, game. I did not even do a feast. Okay. Whoops. How old am I? 49, okay. It's fine, I think. So we need 242 gold and then we'll be able to build our duchy building. That's the other th good thing about the, um, the megalith construction tenant is that uh, you don't really need to be very high tech to be able to get these benefits. So like you can build a duchy building before any other uh, region can, really. Because normally you need manorialism or uh, battlements to be able to do that, so that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, so we lost this war here. Bit of a bummer, but I think it's okay. I think I'm also going to grant this land away to somebody. Uh, I definitely don't want to give it to somebody of my culture, like I explained before, because they're going to start converting my culture, which would be bad. And we need to keep our culture one tile for as long as possible. Um, oh yeah, I forgot I should be doing this. Should continue to upgrade my trade ports and megalith over here. I can also upgrade these buildings. Oh wait, was I saving my gold for something? Oh yeah, I was. Oops. It's okay. You get development uh, one way or another. Centralization, gardeners, wisdom. That's everything, right? Yeah. Is my court really not at tier 7 yet? Close, okay. We're almost there.
I think I will actually just keep upgrading these. Why does it say disabled? Wait, what happened here? How did this get converted? Did I miss a pop-up? That's weird. Because yeah, my megaliths aren't working now because uh, somehow we are supporting Asharism in my capital and not Tallism. I must have missed a pop-up. Um... Okay, now I'll try to save gold for a little bit to get the uh, duchy building. Can I blackmail anybody actually? This guy, no. This guy, no. Let's put my spy master back on... Um, find secrets up here, try to get more, more secrets to sell. Would be good. We're now at 34 development in Baghdad. Uh, hello, the Ferv. Nice to meet you. Uh, we got more perks here. We're in 902 actually, so let's take a look at early medieval. We should be going up pretty quick because we only have a one county culture and that culture is has an average development of 34 because of it. So yeah, we should get early medieval probably sooner than anybody else. And once we get early medieval, I'm going to go right for manorialism because it'll let me upgrade my temples and then I can go all the way to tier 8 if you can believe that. Um, tier 8 megaliths with those temples, so that's pretty cool. I don't, I can't spend my money on you guys right now. I'm trying to save up for my uh, megalith. So my court gardener just died. That's really important. Okay, wait. Let's do this first. Oh, no way. I don't have the right faith now, so I can't do it. Son of a bitch. I'll just upgrade this instead, I guess. Let's wait one more month. And I'll do this too for the more development. Um, where is this thing? Where it is. Oh, I have another good uh, gardener ready to go at least. That's actually pretty huge. And now you can see we went up to 7.1 development as we are upgrading the little uh, the buildings here. Um, it would be pretty helpful if... The... If this was converted, uh, that's kind of a bummer that that happened. Scholarly matters, that could be important actually. Should we do the book? Oh, I don't have the gold though right now. Six months left, and then we can actually uh, try to get a new tradition too, which is going to be good. Slowly but surely we're converting. Okay, we just hit early medieval. Let's go for manorialism right away. Eight years only, guys. How quick is that for a new era? Pretty good, guys. 904 and we're gonna eight years manorialism. Uh, okay, that's the end of the hooks and secret. Let's blackmail all these people if they've got money. I feel like this is the same guy I've blackmailed like a hundred times. He does not learn to hide his secrets. Uh, 
Uh, no, we checked that guy. This lady's poor. This guy is poor. This guy I blackmailed already. Okay. Let's demand payments from these two. 50 gold each. That's pretty solid. Who's factioning against us? These guys, eh? This is the benefit of having pretty much um, <laughs> unlimited kids and uh, following a uh, religion that lets you have multiple wives is you can pretty much uh, have unlimited alliances with your vassals, which I have to say I like very much. I know my buildings are disabled game. I'm trying to fix it. So I need to have another feast, but I'm kind of worried actually about becoming fat again. Um, I think also it's about time I plan something here. Oh, what should I do? I could do a university visit to get my learning up, but that doesn't really help that much. I think what I should just do is either a grand tournament or a grand wedding. I don't really have enough gold though. Hmm. I do need to do a feast though, I might do a feast. I need just under 2,000. Ugh, why are these guys being so annoying? They're not like that strong either. Yeah, maybe I should start upgrading my men at arms a little bit. I have like a really weak, really weak men at arms group right now. Not looking good. Hmm. I've actually never played a uh, HOI four or any of the other ones. They look fun though. Okay, how are we doing here? Eight. We're getting eight development per month now guys that's pretty good we're still only at 37 and to, in order to get the world record we'd have to do it we'd have to hit 135 uh, years oh man oh yeah complicated i like that i've been playing a lot of vicky 3 actually recently with the new update i find that one's pretty complicated it's like a lot of underlying metrics Okay, wait, I have to deal with this uh, faction before I do anything. Uh, my daughter. See, good thing I got daughters to ship off or else we'd be in trouble. Boom. Okay, we almost have whole of body, so that should keep us alive for a good amount of time. Looking the other way, okay. Really? Well, it's all about, um... Victoria 3, all about construction. Depends, I guess. Like, if you play as a... You know, one of the big boys in the beginning, I guess it could be pretty easy. Uh, transfer, it should be okay. Yeah, it's tough. I've been doing a lot of Japan recently. They're good because they have like so much population, but it's like the uh, the landowners are crazy strong and angry. Uh, okay, we converted the religion here finally, so that means these buildings we can keep upgrading them, and the other megalith actually is going to start um, affecting us again. So, oh, we went down actually. 
Oh, did my steward die or is he still my steward? Okay. Oh, so look, this is a different steward than before. We should definitely be um, swaying him and then trying to become friends with him and demanding conversion from him. Because we need this guy, if this guy's friendly with us, he gives us way more development growth than he's giving us right now. So let's do that. I guess I could actually, is he a vassal of mine? Yeah, he is. So I could try to do a feast. It's probably gonna get me overweight again. Um, oh, I need to gain court grandeur, so I think I'll do this. Okay, I'm at seven court grandeur, so we should see the uh, development effect coming in here. Yeah, court type plus 0 0.2. Oh yeah, China whaling. I played one game as China, it was like way too crazy. But I'd be down to try it again. The new update actually is pretty interesting. They added, they fixed a lot of stuff that was broken. Uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, feast. Wait, but I'm in debt right now. Okay. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to befriend this guy, Hank here. Um, but I need more money first before I can do anything. Well, I'll also upgrade this first actually. Just get that to tier 3 for another 5. Okay, very nice. Uh, is this going to be enough money to do a feast? I don't think so, actually. Let's try this. Oh, you're right. Switching for infertile actually, uh, Good idea. No, it's still zero. Oh wait, it said because I'm polyamorous? Characters who face are polyamorous gain no prestige for marriage. Oh, I didn't even know that. So there you go. I'd have to not be polyamorous. Thanks for the follow. Um, hot boyvon? Boyvon? Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the stream. Currently trying to get to 100 development in Baghdad in Crusader Kings 3. We're doing an okay job. Not amazing, but... You're gonna have to be throwing a few attempts down before we can get it, I think. Let's get this feast down. Um, hopefully I have enough gold to do this even if I drop it to cheapest. I don't, okay. And who is it? It's this guy, my steward. Okay, so we need to befriend him for sure. And we need to go up a couple more gold. One more, one more, one more, one more. Boom. Okay, so hopefully we befriend our steward. That's going to get us a lot more development. Um, and what do we have? Four years from no realism. Also, this feast probably comes at a good time because I am pretty stressed out right now. Need to get that stress down. Also, let's have a look at uh, reforming our culture. Because we went into the next era, you can actually reform without paying a penalty. Uh, I'm thinking of picking up collective lands for the 20% of uh, dev growth. I could reduce this by a further 3,000 if I have two peasant um, peasant rulers. Let's see if I can actually find that. I'd lose some gold from doing this. But let's see. Oh, we actually have a couple. Oh. Wait, but it says my culture, right? 
because then I don't want to do it. Because if I give them land and they have my culture, granting counties to commoners. Yeah, so it would have to be my culture. Wait, no, never mind. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong spot. This culture does not have to. Yeah. So unfortunately, I can't get the discount, but I'll have to go up to 7,000 prestige, but I think we'll get there anyway. Um, so I don't really have to worry too much. Hmm. And like right there, we just got a nice little bit of prestige. And he becomes my friend. Perfect, guys. So let's have a look. Let's drop our whatever. 6.7 Should be going up by 1.26, what the heck? Hmm Was this what it was before? I don't think so, was it? Um Interesting Oh, okay, so I just hit Exalted Amongst Men, guys, which means I can go down here and build a university. It's going to be done in seven months, which is nice. And the university is good because I think it also gets a 0 0.2 or is it 0 0.1 development plus another 10% development growth. We then get learning per fame and renown and learning lifestyle experience and fascination progress. <laughs> so you get a lot of good stuff. It's all good. It's not like the craziest bonuses, but it's all uh, really helpful. It'll actually speed up our researching of manorialism a lot um, by getting that. I don't know why this didn't go up though, I'm a bit bummed about that. Oh it is, okay now, maybe it takes a month to go through, sometimes that happens. Uh, we're getting 9.7 now guys. That is a new record for this game. Um, oh, because the university finished also, that probably helps. 10.4 actually, I guess that's from the university. Jesus. Now we're talking 10.4 means that we're going to go up one development per year plus a little bit more than that actually. But even at that guys, if we wanted to hit it by 940, uh, we would need to go faster than one a year and probably a lot faster. Probably we'd have to be going by how many 30 years. We need to be going up by two development per year to be able to get there. And we're just not quite there yet. That's what would that be? Would it be like 16 development per month? 16, 17 around? I mean, the fact is, like, we're gonna get Monorealism in three years, so it might be doable. I'm not gonna lie. But we definitely weren't the fastest we could have been in this game. It was a little bit all over the place. Um, why would I do this? And I should probably sponsor more people just for crowns and like health benefits and things like that. Always useful. Uh, the tapestry up there, why not? Oh, oh yeah, I need the, the uh, duchy building. That's the last thing I need. Well, not the last thing, but you know what I mean. Maybe I'll put my uh, guy back on schemes just to get some more blackmails. I think we only have poor people left that we could blackmail now. Bit of a bummer. Oh, where's the capital actually of the Abbasid Empire? Where'd it go? What the heck? There it is. Uh, so how strong is he? Oh, he's getting really strong. The next time the Abbasids are weak, I think I'm going to try to take the throne away from him. That's going to be a pretty important milestone for me. Uh, 
Okay, we just got a hole of body, which is nice. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, do I want higher? What am I giving him a crown? You're gonna do fine. I need my gold right now, sorry. Prestige. When I get 7,000 Prestige, I have to uh, pick up Collective Lands, that's for sure. Cannot forget about that. Ooh. Uh, look, we could get 350 Prestige, which is pretty good. But I don't think I'm going to do that. Let's just do this. I need my gold right now. I need my gold for the duchy building. I need the rock temple. Oh, why did it go up in price? Oh, God damn it. That's brutal. Yeah, being a king helps with development because you, you get the court bonus. Like if you have a court grandeur of seven, you get 0 0.2 development in your capital. Which is actually pretty useful. Um, so that's why you want to be a king at least. Emperor, does it get you anything? I don't really think so. Not 100% sure. You're a good daughter. Whoa, is that my son? Why does he look like such a beast? Oh yeah, he's albino. I saw his blonde beard, I was like, what's going on? Uh, am I close to getting this thing? I still need a hundred more gold. Okay, another dynasty legacy. We're making our way to ancient authority. He's wailing. Um, let's see the blackmails. Okay, we can blackmail this guy. Damn it. Uh, blackmail this guy. Blackmail this guy. Blackmail this guy. Oh, and this guy. That's a lot of blackmails. We'll take that little bit of gold. 75 gold from this guy. That's huge. Very nice. So now we can actually afford the beautiful great megalith. That'll be done in just how many months? Eight months. And we'll get some very nice gold and development growth from it. I also, we almost have manorialism, which is going to be really big for us. So we're going to need more gold for that. I'll try to stack some here. Oh, I can vassalize a few people. That's fun. Yeah, well, Waylon, I've I tested this out a little bit with debug mode, so I kind of like developed a plan. A lot of the times in my videos, actually, I get, like I'll come up with like a general route. I'm like, okay, I need to reform my culture and pick up these traditions to get this whatever, um, and then let the chaos of the paradox game kind of unfold, and hopefully, like some fun things will happen. Uh. But this one is like, the person who did, so there was a post on Reddit for all the people who uh, are just joining. 
uh, who showed that he hit 100 development in Baghdad by 940, which is pretty mental. Less than 100 years into the game to hit 100 development. Um, but he did it using um, like the Iberian DLC stuff. And with the new Persian DLC, I think that you can actually do it faster. So I'm kind of trying to prove that and get this done all at the same time here. Um, <laughs> oh my god. One of the really good things about the Persian, the Iranian Intermezzo, is that every time we're in this phase here, the uh, unrest phase, you can see we get a further 30% uh, discount on all our buildings. So this thing should be costing us 500 gold. We're going to do it for 55 and we're going to upgrade um, all three of our temples right now actually to do that. And this will actually let us um, go all the way to tier 8 in terms of our uh, megalith buildings, which is pretty crazy. I know, it's quite a discount. And how long we got for this? Six months only, so... We're building right now, we're building, 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 building. Uh, okay, wait, what do we want to research next? This is going to be important. Okay. So, what do we got? There's a few things. You can do coinage that gives 10% development growth. I could do... Uh, wait, what lets me... Does this give me more buildings? Okay, I could do bailiffs to get an additional building. So, I think actually this is what we have to go 100%. Because... If we were able to get one extra building in all of these um, baronies, that's an extra at least 10% development because we can build, remember, orchards in all these temples. That's another development building. And uh, the city we can't because it's not on the coast. And then these ones not. So it would be like a boost of 30% development if we were able to pick that up. Purchase canceled and repurchase buildings to build them faster. Really? I might try that. I don't know how exploity I want to get though. Because right now it's like, sure, I'm doing a little things, but. Yeah. I'm not 100% certain yet. Because some things are a little exploited, but still in the game. Like, I don't know if you guys would consider the find secrets thing an exploit. I, it's like in the game, you know, you search for secrets and then... Like, it's not my fault they made it super overpowered. Ooh, we have a liberty faction. I might actually just drop my crown authority to keep my vassals happy. Because I don't need to do any revoking anymore. So, I think that's probably going to be okay. Do do do. Okay, so we finished all these temples, should give us a pretty good boost to our gold income. And now you can see I will be able to upgrade all the way to tier 8 megalith. So I'm going to get started doing that, especially considering that we're in the unrest phase. So it's all going to be really cheap for us to do. And every, one, every time I upgrade this, it's going to give me 0. Point, uh, it's going to give me 5 more development. But on top of that, um, as you can see, if I do this... Boop, boop, boop. Uh, we are now going to be getting from tier 4 an extra 0 0.02 for each megalith we have. So that brings our monthly development all the way up to 11 per month, guys. Not not bad. That's fair. Um, about the speedruns. I don't really know if people even speedrun this game. But for me, it's just like speedrun means by the fastest date. And I don't think it's like an actual rule, it's just like... It's just gonna make for a good title on uh, on YouTube, essentially. That's kind of like... Uh, you know. That's the idea. Also though, it would be cool to be able to say that I have the fastest 100 development run. I do want that. Yeah, I can imagine. Exploity. Hello, String. Thanks for the follow. Nice to meet you. Um, yeah. Did we get any more secrets? I don't remember. No. 
Okay, and now we can... Oh, wait, no. Am I wrong with this? No, I just need more money, right? Yeah. I can also upgrade my trade ports in all these places now to tier 3. So, like, manorialism is really big. It lets me go to tier 8 megalis, right, which is 35 development. And then it also lets me go to tier 4 trade ports, which is uh, 20 development each. So it's a pretty valuable... Uh, it's a pretty big milestone. Like, we should be able to get pretty high with that. That being said, we do only have... 37 more years. Oh no, not even 23, 27 more years until the date that we'd have to hit to beat the speed run challenge. Um, but it's okay. It was our first attempt here. So I think we're doing all right. We are at 45 development now. And it really ramps up more towards the end as you get more of the more of the things, more of the stuff and things. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the micro is crazy in these games. Sometimes I feel like I'm good at microing just because I've seen so many pop-ups. I'm like, just clicking through everything. Oh my god, oh my god. And we just made us a steward. That's so big. That's an extra three gold per month, extra domain tax, building construction cost reduction, lifestyle experience. Oh, but also, is he weak? He just died, didn't he? Hmm. He's losing a war. Uh, let's let's start the th claim throne scheme. Let's just get that cooking, and then when we're ready, we can do the eh, uh, the other thing. We can actually launch the scheme to claim the throne when we're ready. Because we do have a decent sized military. But I think after I'm done doing all the manorialism upgrades, maybe, I'll have a really good uh I'll have a really good economy. And we can use that to uh, upgrade our military. Ugh. Not the best. Oh, level of devotion impact plus 100 could be useful. How long until we get bailiffs? Five years. That's going to be pretty good too for our, for our debt uh, our debt growth. Do, do, do. 21 gold per month. That's pretty solid. Am I stressed? Okay, no. I am chilling. Yeah, I think I'm gonna focus on getting, um... Oh, sorry about that, guys. Too long? What kind of- this thing is sucks, this bot. I'm gonna get rid of it. Like, how could it be block messages that are too long? Something else. There we go, another megalith. Oh wait, I need prestige, I don't need piety. Forgot about that. Well, I'm actually almost at 7,000. How am I doing health-wise? Doing okay. New leash, what is happening here? Oh, look at this, guys. <laughs> he is getting his ass handed to him. If there's ever a time for this, uh... Wait, what? What happened to my scheme? Oh, it went away somehow. I guess when he changed? Okay, so if there's ever a time for us to claim his throne, it would be right now. The problem is, once I claim it, 
it might be a little bit hard to keep it together. That's the only thing I'm a bit worried about. Do I have a Royal Architect still? Okay. I probably should get one of these guys just for uh, the stewardship, because like the more stewardship you have, the more tax you actually get. So it's probably pretty useful. Who am I even teaching there? Is that like one of my daughters? I literally could not tell you how many kids I have right now. No way did it just change again. Dude. Okay, let's go to tier 7 up here. We're getting 13.4 development per month now, guys. So we're starting to pick it up. Starting to pick up the pace a little. Let's see. I've got my claim on the Empire. Um, should I do it? So let's see, how much strength does he have? He has 2,000, he's losing like a million wars. That's the only problem, is I don't want to have to fight all these people off once I become in control. Hmm. But the whole th reason that I want it is because I need to end the struggle to get my, uh, my renown bonus to be able to pick up the uh, the dynasty legacy that's going to boost our development even further. So I'm in a bit of a pickle right now. I also could have had prestige faster too. So there's a few things we could have done this game to, to speed up the development. But I have to say, I thought it would be a lot harder to actually get control of Baghdad and like get into this situation where we're just constantly building. So I'm pretty happy that... Uh, We've had a relatively easy time here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yearbus, hello. Nice to, uh, nice to have you here on the 100 development run. Uh, I'm about to pick up the last perk in the, uh, learning tree so now i'm just gonna have to keep stacking my my learning perks there's no reason for me really to switch to anything else just because i like this 15 percent development uh boost there pretty pretty valuable <laughs> you're a cheeky guy it is a tall order we're at 50 right now, and we would have... So, the goal is to get to 100 development before 940 AD, which is what I've seen so far online is the fastest that anyone's done. Um, this is the first attempt, though, doing it without debug on. So, of course, we hit a few snags in the beginning. It wasn't as fast as we would have liked. But, uh, you know, it's really turning around now. We're popping 14 development in the capital. At this moment. Oh, that's true, eh? I forgot about that. I could switch my capital to one of the temples. This doesn't lose it, eh? Yeah. There was an exploit. I don't know, Ankir, if it's still... Um, if it still works, but like you used to be able to switch your, uh, your, your capital around, and then it would keep the other building slot. So like, let's say if I moved it here. Oh, it still does, doesn't it? All right, let me cook. <laughs> I remember when I found that. I found that like really early when I was playing. Um, uh, it was Royal Court, I think, when they put that in. 
It was like super early in Royal Court. So funny. That's actually gonna help me a lot though. Because now I can go down here. That's something I should do right away actually next time. Uh, I'll have to remember to do that next time. I should write it down. Because if from the beginning of the game I can get the orchards, then uh, that's an extra 10% development before crop rotations and then an extra 20% from each temple. So 60 total from crop rotations. And we hit crop rotations pretty early. So I think that's definitely going to be the play there. Oh man, love that. This one I don't think I need anything. Maybe just go a gold building? Or regimental grounds, or barracks actually. I'll probably go barracks here. Ah, it's too expensive for barracks. Why build one barracks when I can build like... Uh, three orchard buildings? <laughs> And this reminds me of, uh, I don't know if you, oh, you like to read that's epic. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, I did a video way back when I hit 100 development with the, um, uh, industrious perk before the industrious, um, not perk, tradition? This one right here, let me pull it up for you guys. You got, you get 25 development. Uh, every time you finish a building, but you see how it says up to once a year? When this thing first came out, it was not up to once a year, so you could just build, like, uh, buildings in every barony of your county and gain 25 dev. So I remember I had done something where it's like I had cheap buildings in, um... Oh crap, what's that county called? I had cheap, bar um, buildings in Bohemia in this county here, I think, with the, with the six baronies. And I was just like spamming buildings and uh, going up to 100 development like as fast as I could with that thing. And at one point I was just like clicking nonstop. It was so fast. I kind of have a, that's kind of what this reminds me of upgrading all these buildings. <laughs> and you guys can see now we're really pumping gold like this, because the only bad thing about the megalith buildings is that they they actually don't get you tax; they only get you development. Um, oh, what the heck? That's pretty good. Uh, so when I build these orchard buildings, I'm actually getting more tax. I'm all the, all the way up to twenty six gold per month now, which is pretty good. I'll build the barracks down here and I'll actually switch my um, heavy infantry here. Just so they get better balanced. That'll be, that'll be a good plan. And we still have a lot of buildings to upgrade. I'm gonna go to tier 8 for the megaliths now just because they get you that, uh, that extra 0 0.02 development. Okay, and we hit bailiffs. See, the only bad thing in here is that now, um, now that we hit bailiffs, I don't get those extra buildings. Oh, but I guess I could, if I do it again. Oh yeah, okay, I can just do it again. <laughs> oh man. This game is too funny. And there we go, we're back at the main capital and we have an extra building everywhere. Oh yeah, let's look at the map. Good idea, Leland. Let's take a freaking look. Are we at 50? 50? 53. So you're going to see a big bright spot right here in Baghdad, and everything else is pretty much going to look like piss. We got 31 in Constantinople. That's probably the other highest. 31, yeah. So 53 compared to 31. Not too bad. Not too bad. And what are we going up by? 15.1. So, you know what? For 22 years, if we're gaining two development per month, uh, per year now, that would actually put us at... We're probably not gaining two per year right now, but we're probably close. Uh, we're pretty, that's pretty decent, honestly. We're, we're going to get there, guys. We're going to get there. And the best part, actually, about this building thing is we could really go all in for gold. 
Because now I can do farms and fields here for 15 gold, guys. Farms and fields. Absolutely nuts. And that's going to get me so much money. And then I'll pump that into my military and then I'll invade the Abbasids. I think that's the plan. Also, let's switch these guys around. Let's pick up... There's one that gives you more... Uh, just more money, I think. And where is this thing? Oh, it's here, no? Tax is 25%. So let's do that. I think this makes them not like me as much, though. Oh, there's no one in here. Okay. Oh, yeah, they do give some dev. But it's later, right? It's only tier 4? Yeah. So I'd get 5 for each farm. Oh, not bad, not bad. Get out of here. Uh, let's do these first, though. Let's play smart. Oh, thank you for the gold. That's actually going to go a long way. Oh, also, guys, we have 7,000 uh, uh, prestige, so we can pick up collective lands. It's going to take five years to establish, but that's going to net us another 20% dev boost. And what else we can do is... Um, whoops. We can do a feast. Uh, I think it's like 100 gold, though, so I'll just wait a little bit first. I don't have anything to do with that. I'm not married. Really. Uh, I think I will marry actually a stewardship wife here just because you should see that we're going to gain a lot more gold. So I was making 29 and just by having her on managed domain, she bumps up my stewardship by 14 and that makes me like an extra five gold almost per month. So it's pretty worth it, you know. Um. Oh, I guess by the same effect, I should probably do a crop fields here also. What? I didn't know they have pet rocks now. Is this new? Oh, it's eccentric. Okay, that is hilarious. I think I could still make it actually, Anchor. Snowball? Like you, like you just like... Uh... Like you get stronger and then as you get stronger you get you go even faster. So it just like keeps getting crazier and crazier type situation. Uh oh my god, I can't believe they have pet rocks. That is so funny. Look at this dude. Why does it give you stewardship? What? Okay, I love that. Love everything about that. So this went away, so I think we're going to have to pay full price. Well, not full price, but we don't have the um, unrest thing anymore. That's giving us a discount here. Yeah, it's almost two. Well, 17 is definitely two, actually. So we're kind of going crazy right now. I'm not going to lie. Okay, wait. 54. Uh, It could be doable. No way. They have? I've never got one before, but I've never had the eccentric uh, trait, but I don't think eccentric was in it for since the beginning. Unless it was. What do I want here? Should I even care about my military? Maybe I shouldn't even try to do the uh, the Persian thing I was trying to do. I should just focus on this. Hmm. Um, okay, I guess I'll keep upgrading my farms and fields for now. Oh, I can upgrade the trade port actually. I should do that. I should have a feast too. That's what I wanted to do. But I just spent my money. Whoops. Just go for money.
Like gold, like stack gold. Oh, I forgot to upgrade even these. And these. Oh my god, there's so much more development to unlock here. Wedding, yeah. Wedding could be good. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep upgrading buildings. Like, I think honestly that's the best way. Maybe I'll do a feast too first. Just because that's a clean 20% development boost, which is gonna go like a really long way. I think I'm still friends with this guy, right? Yeah. Bet. We have a lovely time ahead of us indeed. Okay, so now everything's upgraded except for these crop fields. Oh yeah, when I was using debug mode also I had a like a couple items that gave me dev boost like uh artifacts. Those were pretty helpful. Yeah, yeah, welcome, welcome. Am I stressed actually? No, not stressed. Do do do. Throw that guy out. Okay. Start a feud. Why would I want that? Okay. Uh, let's have a look. See, eighteen point two. Okay, we're getting up there now, guys. This. This actually could be doable. Okay, let's upgrade the uh, berry groves next. Oh yeah, this happened last game too. How come my castle got upgraded to tier 2 here? When I don't have... Um, battlements. Oh, is it? Does it spawn as a uh, tier two castle? Portugal drill. What is happening, brother? Oh, am I researching mangonels? That's a mistake. I should be researching communal government now. I think. Does that? Uh, it's so hard to see. Or coinage. Five years for either is pretty good. And what do we got? We still have three years till collective lands, guys. So it's it's only gonna get crazier. Oh my god, dude, no way. I lost the rock. <laughs> Shit's so funny. I found him, thank god. Oh my god. Not my rock friend. 200 gold, okay, we'll upgrade this, then we'll do the, the uh, trade ports, and then if we upgrade all the farms and fields to tier 4, that'll be every ounce of development out of here. Um, unless I upgrade my other castle to tier 2. Do I need this one? Eh, no. Sell that shit. Oh yeah, I can sell my artifacts, actually. That I don't need. Like, what does this give me? Prestige? No, I'd rather have gold. Prestige. Meh, those ones I'll keep, I guess. Okay, tier 4, that's gonna get me 5 more development. This will get me another 5. Uh, I'll do the trade port next, I guess. Oh no, my kids are dying. That's never a good sign. How are we feeling? We're feeling a little bit poor health. Uh, yeah. I don't like that. 
We need to still survive 18 more years, dude. Don't die. Don't die on me. Is there a court position that gives you health? Well, I guess a physician would probably be a good idea. Uh, Knight effect is- Oh, I haven't had a royal architect this whole time. That's a mistake. Hmm. Bit of a bummer there. Who's my heir even? This guy? Oh crap, he doesn't have a wife. Well, we wouldn't have to play as his kid, I guess. I feel like it would be really bad to play as this guy. At least we gave him a learning lifestyle, so he probably has enough perks to have all the, the development perks boosted. So that's good. Let's upgrade this. Doop, 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 doop. God, I better not get smallpox. That would be a disaster. Okay, my temples are fully upgraded in terms of development, and they are pumping development, dude. <laughs> Four buildings giving me crazy amounts. Um, castle's not doing too shabby. Am I missing something here? Did something run out? I feel like it did. Wisdom, university, developing, centralization, gardener, court type. Hmm, I guess I'm not. Uh, Nine twenty-three, and we're at sixty-two. So we have seventeen years to go up. Thirty-eight. It's gonna be close. That's all I know. It's gonna be freaking close. If I die, though, it could ruin it. Maybe next time I'll take some some perks that uh, give me like more health. Because I really don't have too much that's healing me other than whole of body. Yeah. I think I'll do that. I'm wondering, like, should I invade the Arabian Empire? Oh. Because if I have these tax collectors all maxed out on the um, this status, this tax decree right here, I would be getting 48% development group like boost, a 48% of the development boost growth, development growth boost. But it's a bit of a risk. I guess we could start upgrading the military a little. We are making a ton of money, to be fair. And we do have 8,000 men, almost 9,000. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Because how do I end this thing again? I think. Uh, I think if we do renewed caliphate, this is one that we can do. You're involved, blah, 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 50%. No, I think we do this one. 
Yeah, this is one that we do. We just have to have a bigger realm than him. So once we own his land, I think that's checked off. You have complete control for at least five years. Yeah, I guess I should do it. I agree. Yeah, let me just build the army a bit bigger. Okay, wait, we got collective lands. Let's see what that does for us. 19.2, holy crap. Okay, we're cooking now. Uh, okay, I can boost what here? I should probably upgrade this to give these guys more damage. Well, that's not bad. 22 is decent. Wait, what kind of scheme am I doing? Sway. I don't think I need to do this anymore. I'm kind of wondering like about this thing. It changes your faith, but doesn't it only change it like uh, doesn't it only change it, um, like secretly? Because I don't want to change my faith because then I don't get the benefits of all these, uh, megaliths. Does anybody know? Maddie D. Uh, you, you missed a lot, Maddie. We've been going for, uh, I don't know, what is this? Four and a half hours already? Holy shit. Um, but we're close. We're close. We're trying to hit 100 development with Baghdad before 940 AD. It is currently 925, so we have 15 years. But we're at 66, and we're gaining 19 development per month. Uh, wait, let me, let me grab the calculator for a quick second. So yeah, 19.2 times 12 is 230 development per year, which is 2.3. Um, and we have how many? 15 years left, approximately. So we should go up 34 development. Dude, 34 development puts us exactly at 100. We need to... Uh, we need to freaking get a little bit more than 19 and we need to not die. Uh, panic. <laughs> it's okay, Maddie. Don't worry about it. I was just joking around. Um, this will all be hopefully part of a video in the future. So it's just a little sneak preview for all you guys watching. Vassalize, like, does this matter at this point? Okay. Let's do it. Get a little bit of excitement here. Okay, is it better to do it from here or does it do the same thing? Press demands. War it is, brother. Yeah, I know, that's the problem. When I die, the Stuart friend thing goes down. But also, even if I have, like, my son is in uh, learning lifestyle. So he's going to, like, I can reset my perks to get all the scholar stuff, which is good. But he's going to be missing centralization. And this is, like, pretty big, actually. So dying kind of screws you. That's what happened, like, when I was doing my... Um, my run with the debug mode on. I had died with like 15 years to go and it like kind of tanked.
tank the growth. But that's okay, we got a war to deal with now. Do we even lose? Yo, we can have our whole army up and still be making 10 gold. Jesus. Let's, uh, let's, uh, can we invite anybody to this? Have any friends? Do you have any kids who aren't married? Where's this thing? Let's just get this guy in here. Could always use a good friend. Oh, that's good. Okay, let's go over here. Uh, the big thing is going to be supply. We're going to have to keep our supplies good. How strong is even? 6k. Okay, now we should be fine, I think. The good thing is, it's a pretty developed area, so... Uh, there's a lot of areas that have high-ass supply limit, which I like a lot. Wait, am I not a, um, what's it called? Oh, I should do this. I should take it all the way, actually. <gasps> oh, no, that's not the capital, is it? No, it's not. Uh, If I get Mystic or whatever, Wise Man, doesn't that come with a health bonus? No, okay. I guess I don't know what I'm talking about. Where's this guy's army even? Oh. <laughs> what a loser. We're going to be able to siege the crap out of him when he's down here. How many more do we got? Three more counties, we'll get this capital. Uh, wait, what did we just do? Okay, we got coinage, which gives us another 10% percent development growth 18.9 how did it go down what the fuck? what are we missing what are we missing oh it could have been a time it could have been like the banquet or something i did build 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 what build what <laughs> gold 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 oh you know what i should do actually to get more dev is go for battlements because then I can upgrade this castle and that'll at least get me 10% from this 20% from that 5% from that so 25 development that's probably worth it and I guess I can do another feast in Baghdad for the extra 20%. Is this guy gonna come and fight me or what? Or is he gonna try to get my land from the south? Duty bastard. Oh, I stole his brooch. That's nice. Hmm. 
Is he coming to get me or not? He's fighting somebody else? Like, what is he doing? Silly guy. Or is this my vassal that, uh... Took some land here, distracting him. That's actually pretty good of my vassal. Oh, you know what might actually heal me a little bit? Do, do, do. Oh, I'm already at exotic food, okay. Disease resistance. So I have a good amount of disease resistance, actually. Uh, maybe that'll keep me alive. <laughs> yeah, the Mongols are going to have a freaking field day with me. Okay, let's go. Enforce demands. Expand all my army. Okay, yes, I get it. I am the Caliphate. Uh, so I have to hold Samara, but who the fuck holds this? Hmm, the thing is I need this title, I think, to end the struggle. Or can I end it another way? Oh, maybe this one? You have the trait detractor. I thought it was detractor. Can I not be detractor while being the Caliphate at the same time? <laughs> Uh, you must not have the Sunni doctrine. Uh, this one would have been almost doable, I think. You have the tree. How come I'm not the tractor anyway? I was the tractor before. Yeah, see, I have to hold this title as well. And control. Um, wait, does uh, Hostiles old hold this? Huh? Oh, the whole duchy, eh? Oh, well, that's easy. I can easily take that. Okay, wait a minute. To end it, I can... If I hold all of Samara... No, the heck, here. No, not this one. If I hold all of Samara... And I hold this title... I think I can end it. Unless I want to renew, but I think renew is too hard. You have to do a bunch of other shit. And even the Iranian Resurgence, right? I think this is too hard. Hmm, yeah, this one's too hard too. Okay, uh... I need this title. That duchy. But it's not a duchy, it's like a- it's just like a weird title, right? How do I get this thing? Okay, let's pump this up real quick. So nobody's gonna notice anything. Yoshi! <laughs> nice to, uh, nice to see you. I don't think I'll be able to finish it. The, um, the struggle, actually. Because how do I get the... How do I get this title? How do I become the head of the faith? This one could potentially be do doable, but you have to uh, involve their counts. I have to get counts that have Iranian heritage. Like I'd have to start giving land to Iranian guys, I guess. And I'd have to be an ally with this kingdom and this kingdom. Which maybe is doable, honestly. Hey, thanks, Yoshi. Um, this hopefully will be a YouTube video pretty soon. 
we are uh, doing the classic tall game here. We got 19.5 development in 927 AD, 60 years since the game start, popping 70 development in the capital. Uh, so we have 13 years to go up 15. Uh, sorry, took up 30 dev. Uh. Okay. Okay, stop modifying my contracts, everybody. Maybe we have to convert this guy? Head of Faith. See, I don't know. I, I don't think I can end it. I think I'd have to do it the Iranian way. Who's I don't give a crap if you're raiding me down here. Don't show me that. Oh wait, I think I want to do this. Uh, okay, and now if we go here... Yeah, see I still don't have this title. Damn, I was so close to being able to do it. What about this one? I just can't be... A Sunni Doctrine. And that's all? Okay, wait. Let me cook. I mean, I do have 15,000. Okay, wait, wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. Oh, no way. Yeah, console is... It's behind, right? Do they have Royal Quarter on console? Yeah, the DLCs are fun. Adds a lot of uh, exploitation nobility. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna change to a Shia religion. Oh, this one's only one wife? That's okay though, I don't need wives anymore, do I? Oh, you just got the fate of Iberia. Oh, then I can divorce and marry again. Okay. Yeah, but I don't need prestige anymore. I think I'd rather have polyamorous for the alliances in case they want to revolt against me. I don't know if that makes sense to you. Uh, let's go with the eyeball. Okay. What was I called? Tall boys? Oh, no way. I already created a faith. We were so close. No. Because I think if I convert, it would work, but I would lose, um... I would lose my legendary megaliths and stuff, which is kind of giving me a ton of development right now. Oh man, that sucks. Oh, I lost 0 0.2 for my court. That's not good. Deck. But there's a few like, oh, how do I get these tables? What the heck? Oh, it's all the stuff from the Avacid Empire. Okay, epic. Oh, development growth. <gasps> Guys, look at this book. 0 0.12 development growth? Are you crazy? And one was 0 0.2, that's not awful. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> That's a crazy book. 
19.1, but it'll go higher once our stupid court goes back to 7. I don't know how it went down. Uh, show me the court, show me the court. Stop trying to murder me. Go, 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 go. Uh, wait, there's a court position I can hire that gives me more development growth or whatever. Grandeur change. Hire everybody. How are we not there? Get me there. Okay, there we go. Boom. Oh, we actually, if we're maybe trying to go for more renown, like I know there's things you can do to get more renown. We might have been able to hit this because we're only one perk away. Hmm. What time is it? It's almost 11. Holy crap. Uh, 20.4 guys. That's the highest we've seen. Should we just let it play? If we do it, we do it. We definitely know there's ways that we could have done it better. That's for sure. So next time, also we know that I need to, when I reform the religion, I need to change to, to Sunni just to give myself a chance at uh, getting that uh, to finish the struggle. If we did that, we, we would have had it, I think. That's okay, though. 20.5, 12 years to go. Oops. Uh, who's revolting against me? Can you guys not do this right now? I don't got time to fight you dudes. True Yoshi. Facts, 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 facts. Build and wedding. So what does the wedding give me a big it just does a grand banquet also also, right? I don't think I can build anymore. I don't like how these vassals are getting angry at me. Uh, what the heck did I want to do? Oh yeah, I want to change these guys actually. Maybe that'll make them a little bit nicer. There you go. Convert, then convert back. I guess I could, right? Is my faith going to be gone, though? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Convert and convert back. I could do that. Embrace Zoroastrianism. Okay, wait a minute. Let's look at this one more time. So we need to dominate them, I think, right? No, not this one. We need to found a new caliphate and we must not have Sunni. Should we try it? Okay, let's drop a save.
uh region for a flavor pack i think they need to give india some love there's actually like some, some crazy stuff down there Okay, should I do this one? I guess it doesn't matter what I do. You don't follow faith in secret years before blah, 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 blah. No, I don't want a secret faith though. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, let's just convert normally. Uh, is this one Sunni? How do we see? Sunni? Shia. Okay. Guide me, guide me, guide me. Okay, here we go. And the Intermezzo. I'm very righteous, I agree. Okay, pick up Ancient Authority. Look at this, guys. Oh, is there anything else we can pick up? We do have 3,000 now. Uh, where's the development one? Here. I don't think I'm gonna have enough. No. Okay. Now what do I do? Oh, but you see, I can convert back. Oh, I can't. I'm the head of faith. <gasps> uh, let's see. They let player play as Turks. You can play as Turks, no? Are the Tajik Turks? Is that racist? Uh, and get called in? I guess, yeah, I guess maybe that doesn't happen. Okay, wait, did I screw myself here, guys? 16.8 only? Okay, but let's change our tax, guys, to this one. That's gonna get me plus one development growth. Oh my God, I changed that one already. I'm an idiot. Oh no, I changed all of these. Oh my goodness, mistakes were made. Okay, wait, let's go back. How come I became the head of the faith though? Because that's why I can't convert. Oh, I could just make another one, can I? No. God damn it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's go back. Because I think it'd be, this wouldn't work. Even if I didn't change their tax decrees, though, it would get me like 48% increase. I still think we lose out here from not having the um, the Megalus. Like everything was coming from the Megalus, and now that they're disabled, I don't think it's gonna work. Okay, do key. Can you guys stop this? Like, what's your problem? boost these guys there's an i guess i was gonna say there's no reason but i guess the reason would be to stop them from uh, attacking me these bastards you know what battlements will get me a bit more development we still have 10 years guys could happen anything could happen Wait, I have regimental grounds. Uh, what 
what was I gonna do? Oh yeah. I don't really need gold. Seventeen point nine. What happened? Oh, did our court grandeur go down again? Court type no. Did our gardener die? Oh my god, our gardener died. Okay, wait, we need to pray for a good gardener. Please, please, please. Average, come on. We need better than average here. If we could get a good gardener, that would actually be crazy. What goes into the gardener? Is it just stewardship and uh, the gardener trait? That's my question for you. Come, 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 brother. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. Oh, health, small boost. That's actually could be important for us. Which one am I not using? This book? How? How zero? What the fuck? Oh, here we go. <laughs> the pet rock. Okay, we just got battlements. We just got a crazy gardener, I think. Where is this bastard? Excellent, guys. Excellent. That's 0 0.7 development. 22. What are we at? 77? We have 10 years. 10 years, and we're going to make at least 2 development per month. I mean, per year, that's 20 development, plus a little bit more. Yo, it's going to be freaking close. It's going to be tight. And it's December. That actually sucks that it's December. It kind of kills it. Okay, wait. I have to upgrade my castle here. How do I not have enough gold? Okay. Okay, okay, I also don't know how I have not died yet. This is crazy. Upgrade the castle. Come on, castle. Get upgraded. We need the development from you. Oh, Herbalist. Doesn't that come with a health boost? It does. Let's go. Okay. So we're gonna gain 20, another 25% development from upgrading all these buildings. Do I have my royal court guy already still? What's he called? Royal architect, yeah, okay. Bet, bet, bet. We're running out of time! I'm panicking! Ah. 400, come on, come on, come on. Stop claiming my throne, I don't have time to deal with you guys. You stupid thrones. Why is it not going up faster? This is so weird. Like, how is it? How did three years go by and we only went to 82? Hmm. No, guys, I'll be dead within a year. Oh, man, the dream. 
I think it's over. Ugh, oh, is there anything we could do? This guy's gonna suck in comparison. Mm. I'm probably also gonna have a ton of revolts. It's not gonna be pretty. I also don't have any kids, I just realized, as my other kid. I didn't marry him, I was like not really paying attention to that. Oh boy. Alright, so we died. Not good. Let's see what the damage is here. We could probably have a banquet like right away at least. Yeah. The factions are not going to be pretty. 14.6. Oh, stinky. 14.6. This guy's giving me what? Yeah, see, if he was my friend, it would be better. Um, I could try to have a feast, I guess. What's this guy do? Wait, is this guy not even here? God damn it. Too busy, eh? Here. Make this guy. Oh, we already have Scholar. Okay, interesting. We already have Scholar. So should I go for centralization? I guess so. Fourteen point two. What are we missing? We're missing just the centralization. I think. Doop doop doop. Doop doop, yeah, right? But these guys are not going to be happy with me. My only hope is that I can marry all of their kids. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no, there's an independence one too? I'm freaking screwed.
How am I missing prestige? Heck out of here. Thirteen months, ten months. I think we our race is run here. Oh man. So close. Seven years. We would have went up by yeah, like fifteen probably, Dev. Man, that is crazy. That's crazy. I thought I arranged a marriage with this guy. Guess not. Come on, wait, why do I need prestige for this? Can this feast happen so I can get prestige? What's ha what's freaking taking so long? Three months? Are you fucking crazy? Uh what can I do? I can create stuff. Titles, create, create, create. I don't have enough gold. Damn, 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 damn. Let me cook for a second. Okay. Create the Kingdom of Arabia. Boom. Now, I can marry this guy. To my half-brother. Okay, we like that. 12 months, 14 months work okay the friends were at the feast so I just need to befriend my uh, steward I think and we'll pretty much be good to go I also should probably start having sex with a woman because if I can have the little babies then uh, we'll pretty much be in the clear Oh, too weak, too weak. That one's too weak. Let's go. Oh my god, okay. Screw me, I guess. Wait, is this a guy? Okay, I need this guy to become my friend. Yes! Uh... Wait, let's just see if we can arrange a marriage with this guy with like another person of my family. Do I have any other... I have another half-brother here. Damn, why does none of these guys have daughters? Bro. Okay. 20.5! Wait a minute. This could work still. I think we have a chance. No, who just became my steward and unfireable for 25 years? <laughs> what? Look how much this person screwed me. You asshole. Nah, dude, nah. No way did that just happen. Oh my god, that is crazy. The game really does not want me to get this 100, 100 dev. Oh, did they kill my gardener too? Okay. Let's see how it is. Wow. 
Wow. So we just fell apart a little bit at the end, guys. I don't think we're gonna do it. Inheritable filter? Oh. In, uh... For what? For the marriages? We're talking about brother. Damn, damn, damn. Like for this guy? Oh, do I have filter? I do! I do, I do, I do. Smart man. Oh, swap him, swap him. Smart, you're, you're smart, you're smart, you're smart. What would I do without you guys? <laughs> okay, wait, let's avoid this war real quick. That's not going to do it, but maybe... This will. Oh my days. 19.6. I think we messed up though. I think we're not going to get it. Because like 20? And we only have 5 years. And we're halfway done. 5. I would need like... Would need what? I don't know what I would need. Uh, well, let's see. <laughs> I don't really need to kill this guy anymore, but... I'm still going to. Goodbye. Who's here? Oh wait. Do I have books that get me more of this? 20 months? Because if we were able to get centralization, that would bump us probably a lot above 20 and we would have been chilling i mean look at these big chunks go you have to admit that's satisfying stop what the freak with the steward man <laughs> dude where's this guy I know I'm missing centralization, yeah. It's because I died, so I didn't have a... Uh, this guy didn't have the um, stewardship perks. Yeah. <laughs> Veros, it's... Uh, we're, we're trying to go for 100 development before 9, 940. And I think we're going to get really close, but we're, I don't think we're going to be able to do it. Promote Persian scripture, what does that do? Okay, wait a minute. Dev growth. Hmm. I think the other thing that could have been useful was if we had ended the struggle with the um, resurgence. I think all of the Persian land gets like a 40% development growth boost. So that might be something to look into. I mean, I have to say I'm pretty happy we got so close on the first try. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, but actually I remember this promote development that you get from Steering Unity. Um, it actually doesn't really help that much because you have to have people, you have to have your your culture in other territories, which is something we don't want. I'm pretty far away from that too. I mean, we'll get centralization with like a year left, but I think it's going to be too late. Oh, look at this. More development. They're trying to make it up to us. Too bad. Only two years left, guys. I don't think it's going to happen. Give me the centralization. Why are you dying? So let's look at this. Centralization, we can do a quick calculation to see how much percent unit bonuses we're getting. Um so look, we're getting 19.8 and we're about to pick up 0 0.3. So let's see, 19.8, we pick up 0 0.3, and now we're getting 21.8. So that's a straight up 2 increase. So we're taking 0 0.3 and turning it into 2 with all of our percent bonuses. Golly. Build, yeah, but what would I build? I don't care, I don't, uh... Oh my god, the city! How did I forget about the city? Okay. A little bit of throwing on my part today. Just a little bit. But very close, very close. The city, right when we got Manorialism, we could have upgraded the city. You're right. Damn. It's so slow though, this stupid city always takes forever to upgrade. 96. September. October. November, December. There we go. I think the guy did it in June in 1940 or something like that. It was like relatively early. So there we go, 940. We're at 97, guys. April, May. So we're at 98, I think, when he was at 100. We're so close. I'll let it play out to uh, to 100 here. I'm not gonna blue ball you guys. Oh, I should have switched back after hitting freaking centralization too. 21.6. SMH. 99 No way, we're gonna be like one year off. Wow February March Boom, there you go guys There you go 100 development in 941 live I have to say that's pretty decent. So close, I know. Damn. Let's take a look at the dev map. Take a look.
The death like kind of screwed us, but honestly not that bad. If I had like, I don't know, lined it up better. I think it's, it's definitely doable though. And this is the only the first try. There you guys go, Baghdad, 100 developments. Let's take a look, who's the next highest? Constantinople's at 34 only? Those guys suck. What the fuck? Oh man. Tight one, it was tight. It was close. There are all the boosts. I think the Megalus are the way to go. It was... I think we could have done it. Just a couple of things different. Stars. Oh man. I am exhausted. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna, gonna get to sleep, guys. A lot of fun though. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm gonna be back. I think this weekend, Saturday or Sunday, I'll be back doing the exact same thing, but this time we're gonna get it before 9.40. <laughs> we can do it. If we proved anything today, it's that it's doable. We were so slow in the beginning. We were like, barely, we were crawling uh, for like the first 15 years. So, I think it's doable. Definitely think it's doable. All right, guys, let me uh, put this thing right here. Got my little ending sh ending screen here. Restart the classical music for you guys. Uh, Crusade Challenge? I thought about doing a video about Crusades, like how to uh, win them and stuff. But I'd have to- I'd have to plan it out more. Not a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Well, I have a video where I put- I was doing a game as Jerusalem and I, uh, had to fight off a Crusade on my own. Pretty cool. But, that being said, guys, Thank you for coming in the stream. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, a lot of fun, even though we didn't get it. We were close. And I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace out, brothers. Bye. Bye, 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 bye.